Miro that Brent and I have had an opportunity to call Ricebird football. Last night it was the junior Ricebirds, and they were taking on the Lone Oak Junior Jackrabbits in Lone Oak, and the junior Ricebirds come out on the short end of the stick by a final score of 40 to 14 in a game that was just eight to nothing at the half in Lone Oak's favor. So it was for the conference championship between those two undefeated teams. And as Brent mentioned, they don't really care for each other that much, right. but that creates what we like in high school football or any sport is a good rivalry. Yeah, yeah, you know, and that even goes back to, you know, the 80s even um, uh, when I was in school, you know, we always played them in basketball, played them in football. Yeah, yeah, and that was a uh, – just a tough team to play and a tough place to go play and always a uh, very good um, rivalry, you know, and Lone Oak has kind of had a uh, disappointing season, I think, so far, but, you know, I don't think that matters at all tonight. It really doesn't, and that's why they tee it up and play it, and that's why we think we're going to have a good one here tonight. Here at the stadium, it's senior night, as we mentioned a bit earlier, where the seniors are being recognized. And, Brent, on the football team, there's not a whole lot of them. No, there's not yet. Yeah. A lot of uh, um, returning players next year for this team, and yeah, and in a very small senior class. And a big group of ninth graders moved up that we'll talk about just a little bit further detail here coming up on the Freemeyer's Best Brands Plus Ricebird pregame show. We'll break down the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. We'll also take a look back to last week's homecoming game against the Heber Springs Panthers, and we'll also take a look around the 2-4A conference and see what all else is going on. And we'll get started again on the Freemeyer's Best Brands Plus Ricebird pregame show coming your way in four minutes. Freemeyer's Best Brands Plus has been supporting Ricebird's athletics for 45 years in Stuttgart. We are honored to be part of the Ricebird tradition. Freemeyer's is joined with some of the best brands in America, including Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, Lazy Boy, and Sealy, to be able to supply our customers with the best values. Now Freemeyer's has gone a step further with guaranteed price matching. If you need home furnishings, make sure you check out Freemeyer's at 201 South Main in downtown Stuttgart. Best brands, best prices, best people. Every player on the football team has an important job so the team can reach its goal and success. Join our team at Lexicon right now and we'll help you reach your goals and success. Lexicon offers free on-the-job training through our own Lexicon University. We also offer competitive pay, a great health care plan, paid vacation, a sweet 401k plan, and more. Find out more at lexicon-inc.com slash football. No appointment? No problem. If you need medical care right away, visit Urgent Care of Stuttgart, where you can walk in without an appointment and get help without a long wait for a wide variety of illnesses and injuries, from stitches and broken bones to allergies and colds. Urgent Care of Stuttgart is conveniently located at 22nd and Park Avenue. Clinic hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more, visit facebook.com forward slash Urgent Care Stuttgart or call 870-672-0911. Urgent Care of Stuttgart at 22nd and Park Avenue. Get sick, get seen today. I'm Rex Nelson. As a native Arkansan, I take pride in our state's natural beauty. And as someone who has been in all 75 counties, I've seen how prevalent litter is across our state. It's time for people to clean up our state for those who live here and to enhance Arkansas's image for those wanting to visit. Let's clean up Arkansas. Visit KeepArkansasBeautiful.com to do your part and get involved. This message brought to you by this station, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, and the Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission. Are you tired of unreliable internet service? Do you constantly run over your data plan? Are you having trouble getting internet service where you live? With TechStream High Speed Internet, you'll get consistent high speeds and low latency that doesn't stop at city limits. TechStream High Speed Internet is perfect for homes, small and large businesses, farmers, and hunting clubs. You'll be able to stream, game, and surf with no interruptions. Servicing Arkansas, Lono, Prairie, Jefferson, and Lincoln Counties. TechStream is your locally owned and operated high speed internet solution. Call toll free 866-268-0101 or visit TechStream.net. Join us at Coker Hampton Drug Company and Gift Shop for Holiday Open House on Sunday, October 29th from 1 to 5. Enjoy delectable sweets, warm cider, and delightful samples. We'll have CH cash back on your purchases. Spend $50 and get $10 back. Spend $100 for $20 back. $150 gets you $30 back. And if you spend $200 or more, dollars, you'll receive a fantastic $40 cash back. Plus, we'll have gifts with purchase while supplies last, door prizes, and a special prize drawing for those making a purchase during open house. See you Sunday from 1 to 5 at Coker Hampton Drug Company and Gift Shop 2 and 8 South Main in downtown Stuttgart. 
not all gifts come from the North Pole. This year, Santa's getting all his John Deere gifts from Greenway because they make it easy to shop online, ship to your door, or pick up in store. From apparel to toys to tools to tractors, Greenway has something for everyone on the nice list. Hey, stop elfing around. Christmas is coming fast. You can get something for everyone on your list in stores or... You earn a degree. At SAU, it's not just a university. It's a supportive community dedicated to your success. Explore the accredited programs SAU has to offer led by experienced faculty who are passionate about your growth. From business and biology to education and engineering, SAU provides a comprehensive educational experience. Join the legacy of excellence at Southern Arkansas University and take the opportunity to shape your brightest future imaginable. Your journey starts in Magnolia, Arkansas. And we welcome you to the Freemeyer's Best Brands Plus Rice Bird pregame show coming to you tonight from Ned Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart. Cited tonight's 2-4-A conference matchup between the Lone Oak Jackrabbits and the Stuttgart Rice Birds. I'm Lynn Keller sitting alongside Brent Whitman, and we are glad to have you join us here for the final home game of the regular season for the Stuttgart Rice Birds. They'll close out their regular season next week. Thursday, so fans make a note of that schedule change. The final game, even though the schedule says Friday, the final game for the Rice Birds will be next Thursday, and Brent and I will be in Ball Knob to bring you the Rice Birds and the Bulldogs next Thursday night. Taking a look back to last week, Brent, the Stuttgart Rice Birds took on the Heber Springs Panthers, and it was a game that uh, the Rice Birds were favored in, but uh, they just struggled in that game getting started right off the bat the very first play for the rice birds was a snap past the quarterback and how often do you look at a couple of miscues early and you kind of think well that's kind of the way the night's going to go right yeah and that's kind of the way the night went for the rice birds yeah 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 it, it, it did you know and especially the first quarter the birds just got off to a sluggish start there and heber springs came in here fired up and scored the first 14 points of the game they did. They led 14 to nothing uh, after they scored a 657 to go in the second quarter. Birds didn't get on the board until the 216 mark of the second quarter. Kamarion Pickett, boy, a hard two-yard run, Brent. But the PAT was blocked, a penalty, which was another thing for the Rice Birds last Friday night were penalties. Yeah. A five-yard penalty sounds simple on an extra point attempt, but it created the difference and the birds had the PAT blocked but they went into the half trailing 14 to 6 they came out on fire though held Heber Springs to a three and out got the ball and with 512 to go in the third quarter Kane Price hit QT Johnson for a 20 yard touchdown then Kane hooked up with Ross Atkinson for a two point conversion and we were all knotted at 14 yeah we were you know and you kind of felt you know that the rice birds kind of had the momentum back there because they'd really slow down Heber. And, um, you know, as we'll see here in a minute, uh, things turned uh, around quickly for the Panthers. They sure did. The very next score came at the 845 mark of the fourth quarter with the score tied at 14. The Rice Birds driving near midfield. Weston Warden for Heber Springs has a 59-yard strip and score. And if you heard Coach Price on the coaches show, we talked about that. And I said, you know, he was five yards down the field for Brent and I ever saw, ever saw him. He said, I didn't see him that quick. He said, we were already working on our fourth and one play yeah. because we thought he was stopped in there. And then look up and all of a sudden, they're going the other way with the ball into the end zone. Yeah, yeah, just a big play there for Heber, you know, and you know, you could say that that play won the game for him eventually. You know, a defensive score, how many times, Brent, do you mm -hmm. see that make a difference in a game? Yeah. And that certainly was there. Now, the Rice Birds wasted little time striking back with just 21 seconds later. Kane Price to Deontay Clark, 77 yards on a perfectly thrown and caught ball, and the Birds right back in it. Yeah, you know, those, those – those are the plays that we are accustomed to seeing from uh, uh, Price and Clark. But, you know, we had to wait until the third quarter last week to get one. Right. And the, the two-point conversion attempt was no good at that point. Then the Rice Birds took the lead for the first time on the night at the 321 mark of the fourth quarter. Matthew Luster goes in from eight yards out. Kane Price finds Jake Hayes with a two-point conversion. The Birds up 28 to 21. And Brent, I saw a little celebrating and stuff down there on the sideline. You're glad that they're excited and so forth, but the game wasn't over. No, there was still uh, quite a bit of time left. And you know, you know, you would like to think that 
against a team like Heber that loves to run the ball, you know, and can't throw it very well, that you're probably in a pretty good shape. But they got a good punt return, and then they were off to the races. Yeah, uh, Parker Brown, 29-yard touchdown. Uh, Xavier Lindley to Parker Brown for a two-point conversion. The Rice Birds let Brown wide open in the middle of the end zone. Caught the two-point conversion pass. Birds trail 29 to 28. And then for all the world, we thought we were going to return the ensuing kick for yeah. a touchdown. And guess who stops our best return man? Their kicker. Yeah. Yes, Parker <laughs> Clark, did. he got loose on the far side, went down the sidelines and tried to cut it back toward the middle of the field. And then the kicker just took him out. Um, right about the 50, though, still, right. still fantastic field position. And plenty of time. Yeah. About a minute and 14 seconds or so to get to go. And Coach Price was thinking, well, no, we're going to go down and we're going to win this on a field goal. Right. And then we yeah. get thrown for a huge sack. And that not only lost field position, but also a lot of valuable time off the clock. Yeah, it did. You know, I think the Rice Birds were down to one time out there. And then, yeah, did just a huge sack on the first down and really, really hampered the Rice Birds offense. Looking at the the stats from last week's game, the Rice Birds really uh, led in the statistical stats, of course, and you mentioned uh, we talked about this off the air, you know, Heber Springs, such a one-dimensional mm -hmm. team, but uh, the Rice Birds really mixed it up nicely on the night. Yeah, they did. They they led at um, halftime on the stat sheet by uh, 22 yards, 177 to, to 156, and they finished the game with 409 yards to only 249 for Heber. Boy, that last uh, 49 they got was when they took it in for the uh, go-ahead score there. You know, when the Rice Birds really, really shut down that offense after they got their first two touchdowns until that very last drive. Yeah, and then again, I don't know. It was just there was a sense that, man, we, we've done it. We've come back. We, yeah. we've, we're going to win the game. And then they uh, they let Brown, the who they have scouted all week long, mm -hmm. Uh, they let him get loose into the end zone, and then he completes a two-point conversion, and Heber Springs gets out of here with a one-point victory to stay undefeated in the conference, which sets them up with uh, a big game tonight that we'll talk about here in just a little bit. Here on the field at Ned Mosley Stadium, the band has made their way out here on band night. And we're set now for the invocation and the national anthem. So we'll step away for four minutes and we'll be back with more on the Freemeyer's Best Brands Plus Rice Bird pregame show. Like you, Stedman's Ace Hardware is passionate about their community. They support the Lions Club, Fight Like a Kid, and numerous other organizations, including youth, high school, and adult sports programs. Whether helping their neighbors or helping their customers, Stedman's Ace Hardware truly is the helpful place. Shop Weber Grills, Blackstone Griddles, Traeger Pellet Grills and Pellets, and more, and get all the help you need at Stedman's Ace Hardware, 110 South College in downtown Stuttgart. Stedman's Ace Hardware, the helpful place. Looking for one-stop convenience to make your life easier? Look no further than Atlantis Coin Laundry and Car Wash in Stuttgart. They are partnered with Southern Starch of Dumas to offer professional dry cleaning services. Leave your delicate garments and special items in the hands of their experts for that fresh, crisp look. Drop off dry cleaning at Atlantis at 14th and Main in Stuttgart by noon Wednesday and pick up the following Thursday. Turnaround is one week. Go to southernstarch.com to see pricing and to set up a dry cleaning charge account. But that's not all. Atlantis also offers their wash, dry, and fold service. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And for those who love a sparkling clean ride, check out their top-notch car wash. Your car deserves the best, and they've got the best. Atlantis Coin Laundry and Car Wash is all about making your life simpler, cleaner, and fresher. Come visit them today at 14th and Main in Stuttgart and experience the ultimate convenience in town. Atlantis Coin Laundry and Car Wash, your one stop for laundry, dry cleaning, and a sparkling car. Clean, fresh, and convenient, that's their promise to you. Learn more about dry cleaning services by visiting southernstarch.com. Hi, this is Carrie Seaman with The Katie Shack. I'm excited to tell you about the incredible holistic healing options at The Katie Shack. We've expanded our services to create a complete holistic healing practice all in one place. At The Katie Shack, we've teamed up with Dr. Travis Wiley, a chiropractor and nutritional expert who specializes in addressing the root causes of today's health issues. Dr. Wiley uses cutting edge techniques and a natural approach to tackle health problems and chronic illnesses. But that's not all. Our dedicated 
Ida team offers a wide range of services to complement your healing journey. From deep tissue massage to lymphatic drainage, pain management, and more, we've got your well-being covered. If you're ready to take control of your health and experience the proven methods that have helped countless members of our community, give us a call at the Katie Shack, 870-873-4300. Schedule a consultation with Dr. Wiley today and start your journey towards a healthier, happier you. Your well-being is our priority at the Katie Shack. Free Meyer's Best Brands Plus has been supporting Ricebird's athletics for 45 years in Stuttgart. We are honored to be part of the Ricebird tradition. Free Meyer's is joined with some of the best brands in America, including Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, Lazy Boy, and Sealy, to be able to supply our customers with the best values. Now, Free Meyer's has gone a step further with guaranteed price matching. If you need home furnishings, make sure you check out Free Meyer's at 201 South Main in downtown Stuttgart. Best brands, best prices, best people. At Brothers Realty, they're the experts in selling Stuttgart, and they're here to assist with all your real estate needs. Whether you're looking to upgrade, downsize, build a home, or start a business in Stuttgart or the surrounding area, Brothers Realty's top-notch listings speak for themselves. With a track record of delivering results, they've got you covered. Whether you're buying or selling, call the team at Brothers Realty at 870-659-4218. Visit them at brothers-realty.com and stay connected on Facebook and Instagram at Brothers Realty. Make your real estate dreams a reality with Brothers Realty. Mark your calendars for Stuttgart's Holiday Open House. Falling early this year on Sunday, October 29th from 1 to 5 p.m. It's the shopping event of the season. Discover exclusive specials, savor delightful sips and snacks, win fabulous giveaways, and so much more. Join Coker Hampton Drug Company and Gift Shop, Holmes Media LLC, Wilkerson Jewelers, Open Season Sports Bar and Grill, and more this Sunday starting at 1 for Holiday Open House in Stuttgart. Don't miss out on the festive fun. See you there. Welcome back to the Free Myers Best Brands Plus Rice Bird pregame show tonight from Ned Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart. Final home game. It is senior night here in Stuttgart. I'm Lynn Keller sitting alongside Brent Whitman. And Brent, we were talking in the last segment about the Rice Bird's loss last week to the Hebrew Springs Panthers. Let's turn our attention now to tonight's matchup with the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. Brent, this will be the 35th meeting all time between these two teams. The Rice Birds have won 25 of them. Lone Oak has won nine of them. The Jackrabbits were six and five a year ago, which was good for third in conference, but they lost in the first round of the state playoffs to Ashdown in Lone Oak. 21 to 14. They lost to Stuttgart in week nine, 35 to 32, after leading by two touchdowns in the first quarter. They were preseason picked to finish second in conference behind Harding Academy. But things haven't turned out exactly like Coach Norton was hoping, and the Rabbits are three and five overall, two and three in conference. They opened their season at home, losing to CAC 52 to 16. They won at Melbourne 37 to nothing, which avenged a one-point loss at home to Melbourne last year. They also lost at home to Forest City 30 to 16. The open conference play at Riverview with a 36 to 16 win. Kind of thought everything the ship might be righted a little yeah. bit there, Brent. But then they went to Harding Academy. They lost 45-14. No surprise there. They won at home against Cave City 35 to 7, but then they lost big to Heber Springs 45 to 13, and then they lost at home to Ball Knob last Friday night 27 to 7, a game that was called in the third quarter. Coach Chris Norton is back for his second season at the helm of the Rabbits. He returned eight offensive and starters and five on defense, including two-time All-State quarterback Braden Allen, 6'2", 210-pound senior. Last year, he was 125 of 200 passing, which was 63% for 1,628 yards and 13 touchdowns, while also rushing for 854 yards and 19 touchdowns on 174 carries. Now, against Stuttgart last year, he was 9 of 16 passing for 142 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions. Rushing against the Birds, he had 22 carries for 134 yards. Brandy had 200. Look back at your stats. He had 276 of Lone Oak's 390 total yards a year ago. Yeah, he, he has been their man for the past couple of seasons, and and you know he is he is the guy tonight that the Rice Birds must try to contain. 
you know, and I looked talking about about stats from last year. I looked the the previous year before against Stuttgart, and he had three hundred. And this is as a sophomore. He had three hundred and three of Lone Oak's four hundred and two yards against the Rice Birds. Yeah, so he, he wow. has been the bell cow for the last two years, and he, we he suspect the third year here this year. Yes, no doubt about that. He's had three full seasons calling signals, and he's getting some looks from some D2 and some GAC colleges this past off season. Now, also keep an eye on senior Denham Gooden, 6'1", 170 pounds. He lines up at tight end and receiver. He was injured in the Stuttgart game last season, and Coach Norton said in the offseason that they just weren't the same without him, and that game started a three-game losing streak to end their 22 season. He had two receptions for 16 yards before going out in the Stuttgart game. Now, not a lot of depth or experience on the line, but, boy, you got to be impressed with senior Chauncey Johnson, 6'4", 285 pounds. He's a great blocking guard. He's got scholarship offers from Missouri, Arkansas State, and others. This past winter, he qualified for the state wrestling tournament. Get this, Brent. His first time ever to wrestle, and he qualifies for the state tournament. He's a hoss, no doubt. And we're going to see him at nose guard on defense where you know he's going to be a handful to try to block. On special teams, the Rabbits lean on senior Tom Boatwright, 6'2", 170 pounds. He made 80% of his extra points last season. Has field goal range up to about 40 yards. He kicked a 30-yard field goal against the Birds in last year's game and was one of two on extra points. They were also two of two on two-point tries in that game, and Boatwright is also their punter. Now, the Rabbits had all of the pieces in place for a strong run in the conference this season, and while they'll make the playoffs, they're not going to have the seeding that many have predicted, and Coach Price kind of indicated to me, Brent, that a lot of it was injury-related. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no doubt. You know, injuries play a, play a big, big part of it, especially when you don't have a lot of depth. No doubt about that. Brent, let's take a look around the 2-4A conference, starting off with the standings. No surprise here. We've got Harding Academy setting there, 8-0 overall, 4-0 in conference. But surprising, Heber Springs, even though they're 5-2 overall, they're tied with Harding Academy, 4-0 in conference, and those two teams play tonight. Yeah, no doubt. Once that conference season rolled around, Heber kind of got accustomed to that new offense, and they have been on a roll. They really have. Stuttgart is in third right now with a five and three overall record. Excuse me, they're tied for third with a two and two conference record. Ball knob is four and four overall, but a two and two conference record. That, of course, is the Rice Birds opponent next week. Lone Oak is right behind Ball Knob with a three and five overall and two and three in conference. They have this is their five conference game of the regular season. Right. Next week, they'll play a non-conference game. We'll talk about that in a second. And at the bottom of the heap, Riverview is 1-4 in conference, and Cave City is 0-4. Those two teams have been eliminated. Uh, I understand, maybe not mathematically, but they have been eliminated from playoffs. We know the five teams from the conference right. that are going to go in the playoffs, and we're just not sure of the seedings. Yeah, that's right. You know, and, and, and of course, we, want, we also won't know who those teams will be playing probably until the last week as well. You're exactly right. Last week, Heber Springs beat Stuttgart, as we mentioned, 29-28. Harding Academy over Riverview, 45-7. Ball Knob beat Lone Oak in a shortened game, 27-7. Cave City had last week open. Looking around tonight, in addition to Lone Oak here at Stuttgart, Heber Springs is at Harding Academy. Ball Knob is at Cave City, and Riverview has tonight off. And looking ahead to next week, be a split week for the conference as the Rice Birds will play on Thursday. They'll travel to Ball Knob. Brent and I will be on the air at the usual times, except going to be on Thursday instead of Friday. Riverview will be at Heber Springs, Cave City at Harding Academy. How ugly can that one be? And then right. Lone Oak travels to Nashville in non-conference action. Yeah, yeah, a lot of action next week as well. A lot of good action. And if the Rice Birds win tonight, Lynn, that um, – Game at Ball Knob will be for the for the third seed. It will be. It'll be a huge game. And gosh, Brent, we look back two, three, four weeks, we wouldn't have predicted that for anything. No, no, we wouldn't. Yeah, you know, we were. You no, know, I, I was kind of looking forward to uh, this game here tonight as maybe being for the third seed. Exactly right. Exactly right. And this is a game that Lone Oak is fighting for seeding on. So right. they're, they're looking for a win here tonight because this again is their final conference game of the season. They're, they're hoping to finish 
three and three as they stand right now. They are two and three. Stuttgart Rice Birds are getting ready. They are loading up into the big inflatable run through on the northwest corner here at Ned Mosley Stadium. And the band, along with all of the, the cheerleaders and tons of students and fans out on the field, creating a funnel that the Rice Birds will run through all the way down to the opposite end of the field, down to about the 40, 45 yard line. So it's gonna be a spectacular sight here in just a moment when the Rice Birds come out of the fog in the opening underneath the big fierce bird and they come through the paper run through Brent. And boy, there's a lot of work went into that paper run through. No doubt about it, it's just Friday, Friday night light, senior night, once a Rice Bird, always a Rice Bird. And you can hear in the background the noise signaling the entrance of the Stuttgart Rice Birds. Brent, while we wait for them to come on the field, who are our captains for tonight's right, game? For the Lone Oak Jackrabbits, number seven, Braden Allen, number eight, Zorion Gibson, number 10, Denham Gooden. For the Rice Birds, number five, Carson Koneshny, number 13, Ross Atkinson, and 51, Tank Hood. Lone Oak Jackrabbits are coming onto the field, coming through a little run through of their cheerleaders. And here come the Stuttgart Rice Birds as they bust through the paper run through, following the cheerleaders carrying the flags. The first one is the big script with an S. Then there's an SHS flags behind them. Fireworks going off in the south end zone. Ray Gilbert down there manning the fireworks. And they are in memory tonight of Marion McCullum, given by Max Prairie Wings. You know, Brent Marion was number 12 on the class of 1960s Rice Bird football team. And tonight, the fireworks after every score and when the birds come on the field are in memory of our friend Marion McCullum. Yeah, yeah, just a fantastic um, man, you know, you know, Mary McCullum. I worked for him for several mm -hmm. years out there at Max, and everybody knows Marion and you know. Everybody always has a kind word to say about him, and boy, yeah, just a just a great, great guy there. And um, I hope we get a lot of fireworks tonight. I absolutely too. We're gonna light it up here. How about some battle cry? Kim heard us on Channel Seven. Kim, the field is green, the stripes are white. We're ready for some conference football action on this Friday night. It's the Rice Birds and the Jackrabbits from Ned Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart. Settle in. We're glad to have you with us tonight. Thanks for listening to the Freemeyers Best Brands Plus Rice Bird pregame show. Freemeyers located on 2nd and Main in Stuttgart. Having the brands that you know and love like Maytag and Sealy and Lazy Boy. And with a price match guarantee, it's a guarantee that you won't pay too much and nowhere else will you get that great hometown service like you will at Freemeyer's Best Brands Plus, sponsor of our pregame show. The Rice Birds will receive. They'll be moving from the left to the right. They're dressed in all maroon, maroon jerseys, pants, and helmets with white trim. The Jackrabbits in purple pants, white jerseys, and white helmets. The ball is fumbled, but picked up and running laterally across the field for the Rice Birds up to about the 26 yard line. On the return, I believe was Julius Gaither. I think it was, I think it was Landon Bryant, number 19, I believe, on the, on the return. I but, believe you are correct. Yeah, yeah, but just a little bit of a fumble there on the return and could, couldn't find a hole and the Rice Birds will, will start at the 25. We've got a full moon over Ned Mosley Stadium here coming up over the stands on the visitor side, casting a little extra light on this big conference matchup. Here come the Stuttgart Rice Birds. First down in 10 from their own 25-yard line. Balls toward the far hash mark. Kane Price, quarterback, takes, hands off into the line. A little bit of running room across the 25, out to about the 28-yard line. Good to see number 11 back out there, Brent. Yeah, J Jawan Terry back from his hand injury. Haven't seen him since week one, but, yeah, fantastic to get him back now as we move towards playoff time. Got a gain of four on first down. Brings up second down and six. Balls on the far hash mark. Price with two wide outs to the right, one to the left. Single back in the backfield. Back to pass. Fakes left. Now he fires. He's got a man wide open at the 45, the 40, 35, 30, 25. And they finally catch him at the inside the 25, down to the 22-yard line. Who else? 
Number 13. Clutch. Ross, Ross At Anderson. At Ross, Ross Atkinson, Atkinson with right. those sure hands. Sparky Clark on the post route took the uh, safety away, and Ross Atkinson was wide open down the sidelines and a nice pass from Price and a big gainer there for the Birds. First and 10 from the Jackrabbit 23-yard line. Here come the Birds. Ball's in the center of the field. Price, the quarterback, one back to his left, two wide, excuse me, three wide outs now to the left, which is the wide side of the field. Takes a snap, and it looks like possibly a busted play, but he's going to tuck it down and run. Now we've got penalty markers coming in. Kane's going to do a nice job eluding tacklers, getting out of bounds down at the 15-yard line, but hold on. Let's see what the yellow laundry is about. Yeah, it looks like it's in the area of a hold. And the Rice Birds are yep. backing up. Negates a nine-yard gain by Kane Price, but now it also probably – his run probably benefited from the hold right, as well. absolutely. It was thrown on the corner on the left side. So this will back the birds up 10 yards. Going back to that previous play, 48 yards, Price to Atkinson. Move, move the Rice Birds into Lone Oak territory on second down. Two wide outs to the right, one to the left, single back. In the backfield with Price, the quarterback. Shotgun formation. Calls for the ball. Straight back. Fires across the middle. Got a man wide open. Complete at the 5, the 10. Excuse me, at the 10 and then the 5. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Rice Birds. Kevon Conway, 33 yards. Beat his man right down the seam. Kane Price spotted him out, and that was an easy touchdown for the Rice Birds. So the penalty doesn't come back to haunt them here. 33 yards, Price is two for two on that drive, and the Rice Birds strike early here tonight. Dawson McKelvey on to attempt the PAT. Left foot, soccer style kicker. There go the fireworks. And there we get the fireworks. And the kick is up, and uh, it is good. And Dawson McKelvey gives the Rice Birds a 7 to nothing lead. We're back with more Stuttgart Rice Bird football in 30 seconds. Across Arkansas, Farmers and Merchants Bank and the Bank of Fayetteville join you in cheering on our favorite teams. We applaud the extra effort from neighbors like you that make our local schools and activities an integral part of our community. Working as a team to help you reach your goals is a perfect game plan for success. The Farmers and Merchants Bank and the Bank of Fayetteville, finally a bank in your corner. MeBanking.com, member FDIC. We welcome you back to Ned Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart, where the Stuttgart Rice Birds have taken the lead 7 to nothing over the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. Opening possession for the Rice Birds. They march it down the field, 75 yards, capped off by a 33-yard pass from Kane Price to Kevon Conway. Dawson McKelvey's PAT was good, and the Birds are up 7 to nothing. Rice Bird football brought to you by and powered by Petrus in Stuttgart. Dawson McKelvey. Kick, end over end. It's going to be fielded at the 10-yard line, back across the 15, the 20, up the near sideline. One man to beat, and that's the kicker, and the kicker brings him down. He sure does. Just shy of midfield. Well, a fantastic job there by Dawson McKelvey to stop that touchdown. That was number 18 on the return, Marquez Jackson, Jr. He, he kind of let the kick bounce down there, and, and then the Rice Birds, I think, just overran him, and he uh, took it right up the sideline, but, boy, Credit Dawson McKelvey for the touchdown saving tackle. You know, you see that occasionally, Brent, when, when a kick gets mishandled a little bit and, and the, the coverage does get a chance to kind of run past mm -hmm. it just a little bit. Yep. Dawson stayed home. You know, it's the second week in a row we've seen the kicker stop a, a right. potential touchdown yeah, yeah. run. Here come the Lone Oak Jackrabbits to the line of scrimmage from their own 48-yard line. Balls on the near hash mark moving from the right to the left. Braden Allen is the quarterback. Fires out in the flats. Got a man complete. Across midfield into Ricebird territory and going to be brought down as he gets across the 45 of the Ricebirds down to about the 44-yard line. So he's going to be about a yard and a half. We're going to say two yards short of a first down. Pickup of eight on that pass, catch, and run. Well, number five, Luke Isbell. He's going to have eight, as Lynn mentioned. Allen takes a snap, rolling to his left. Here's a late pitch, turning the corner, and the Rice Birds run him out of bounds. 
at about the 34-yard line, but not before he gets a first down, move the sticks for the Jackrabbits. That was, that was number 18 again, Marquez Jackson, Jr. And uh, Jack, Jackrabbits taking advantage of that fantastic kickoff return. They're already inside the Riceburg 35 in two plays. Rabbits to the line, working from the near hash mark, moving from the right to the left on your radio dial. Four wide outs to the right. Braden Allen's just going to tuck it down and run, getting some pressure out there. Turns the corner. Wow, what a oh. wild tackle. And we've got a penalty marker coming in. Flag on that? Don't really see where the flag is on that. It was a hard tackle, but it looked clean. I don't think he got a face mask unless I that's what they're going to call it. Sure didn't look like it. Let's see. Here comes the gentleman in the white hat and personal foul, personal foul face mm. mask against I the rice birds. It looks to me like he got him around the top of his shoulder. Well, that's that's what I thought too, Brent. But uh, the official right there immediately threw the flag, and this is going to be marked off against the rice birds, and it's going to move the Jackrabbits into the rice bird red zone. They've got it first down and 10 at the Stuttgart 15-yard line. Working now from the far hash mark, again, with four wide outs to the left, single back in the backfield. Quarterback takes, and he's going to do a late pitch, and the rice birds are right there. Going to be a loss of a couple on the play, and really an ill-advised pass by quarterback yeah, Allen as he was. was being tackled. And he just sort of side-armed it. It was, it was, but he did throw it forward. He did throw it forward, so yeah. if it was incomplete, yeah. you're exactly – and that one would have been better off if they if it was incomplete yeah. from the Jackrabbits' point of view. Going to be a loss of, well, nearly three. We'll, we'll say second down and long 12 coming up for the Jackrabbits. 9-14 to go opening quarter. Stuttgart with an early 7-0 lead over Lone Oak. Braden Allen, the quarterback, right into the line, and he's going to get to the 15-yard line, and that's going to be it. He gets the lost yardage on the previous play back, but it's going to bring up now third down and 10 for the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. Yeah, nice tackle there by uh, Tay Clark, one-on-one. -on -one. Good to see him back out there tonight. Absolutely. And, of course, we mentioned in the in the uh, pregame show as well, a lot of ninth graders have moved up. Yep. Brent, there's about 75 bodies dressed out out there tonight. Allen, back to pass. Look, fires got a man complete, but well short of the first down. Only going to be a gain of about four. And let's see where they mark it. It's going to bring up now fourth down and certainly within Boatwright's field goal range. So let's see what Coach Norton decides to do. Yeah, it's going to be fourth and seven yeah, he's leaving coming up. Team, he's leaving his team out there right now. Clock moving, 8.08 to go here. Opening quarter, Stuttgart with a 7 to nothing lead over the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. The Rabbits going to go for it. They've got all their receivers lined up on the short side of the field. Back to pass. Allen's looking, 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 and the Rice Birds are going to sack him back at the 25. Fantastic coverage downfield. Braden Allen had nowhere to go with it. It's in the pocket collapsed, and he fell right into the arms of Nikeel Bradley. So Coach Norton said field goals are not going to win us this game. We have to try to go for a touchdown there. But, well, the Rice Birds defense rose to the challenge there. Nikeel Bradley comes up with the sack. That is the statement that he made because, again, I, well within Boatwright's field goal range, he's pretty accurate from 40 in. Here come the Birds on their second possession of the night. They take over, marked at the 21-yard line. Price takes a snap, getting some pressure, fires out, got a man, complete, 20, 25, 30, breaks a tackle, coming to the near side of the field, 40, 45 and wrestled out of bounds at the 48 yard line on the reception. QT Johnson. QT Johnson from the 21 all the way up to the 48. He caught that little tunnel screen on the far side and brought it all the way across the field to the near side and a big gainer for the Rice Birds on first down. A yard shy of the midfield strike. Birds hustle to the line. 721 to go opening quarter. Birds up seven to nothing with the ball. Kane Price is the quarterback. Ball's on the near hash mark. Two wide outs to the left, one to the right. Single back in the backfield, standing to the left of Price. Takes, hands off. Across midfield, into rabbit territory, down to about the 27, goes number 11, Jawan Terry. Good, good, nice gain on first down of almost five yards. Terry 
did a good job there of, uh, of falling forward when he got hit and picked up an extra yard. So nice gainer on first down. Second down six now for the Rice Birds in rabbit territory. Second time tonight. Birds lead seven to nothing. They send two wide outs to the left, which is the wide side of the field. Back standing to the left, sends a man in motion. Sparky Clark, he takes it. He's got a first down and more as he breaks a couple of tackles. He breaks out of another tackle. He won't go down. He's inside the He's 30. Still going. And he is still going. Goodness gracious. Inside the 25, almost the 20 yard line. What a run by Deontay Clark. Uh, 26 yards on just that little pitch pass there. Price to Clark coming from his flanker spot. And boy, he would not go down a big game. Birds have it first and 10 at the Lone Oak 21 yard line. 6.26 to go opening quarter. Birds knocking on the door. Two wide outs to the right, one to the left. Single back in the backfield. Takes, hands off, into the line. Good hard run down to the 15-yard line, I believe, on the carry with Jawan Terry again. Yeah, boy, he he is looking good out there like he hasn't missed a beat being out for two months almost. And, boy, it's great to have him back. Gain of seven on first down. Jawan Terry, just a 10th grader. He lines up to the left of Price, the quarterback. Two wide outs to the left, one to the right. Takes fakes, keeps it himself, and going to get down to about maybe the 12-yard line. Then Kane is hammered pretty good at that point. He was. He's going to he's going to have a gain of two. Going to be third down and one now. From the Lone Oak 12-yard line, five minutes and 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Yeah, that's number 24, Braylon Tolliver, the ninth grader, checking into the there game. You there you go. He played, got some action last night in the junior high game, wearing 44. He's going to line up at a slot on the left. This time, one wide out to the left. Take, hand off, Terry. Terry picking his way through the line. Turns the corner. He's into the uh, end zone. Got a penalty marker yeah. coming in now. Well, Leon, I watched, I watched Tolliver on that play, and he just drove his man about five yards downfield. Yeah. Nice block there. But it's probably going to be a hold somewhere along the line. And it is. And this will back the birds up to probably about the 22-yard line. Let's see where the official sets it down. Second time the rice birds have been deep in rabbit territory and have a penalty back them up. Well, they're going to yeah. set this one down at the 16-yard line. Okay. Okay, so the hold was, was uh, downfield. Downfield, yeah. Downfield. That would have had to been at the six-yard line. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Lynn, you get, put, you get a ninth grader in there like Tolliver, and he might want a little payback for for him last night's game. Well, he might. <laughs> hey, you, excellent point, Brent. Excellent point. Here come the birds to the line. Tolliver again in on the slot on the left. Wide outs on each side. The wide side of the field is to the right. And Rice Birds want to talk about it. Timeout, Stuttgart. Let's take a quick 30-second timeout with them. You're listening to Stuttgart Rice Bird Football on Country 97.3 FM. We're part of the EAB Sports Network. What does it feel like to know it matters to others how you're doing? What's weighing on your mind? That you're happy right now? That your body's healthy? And that those around you are taken care of, too? Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been taking care of Arkansans for more than 70 years, providing health insurance and peace of mind so you and the ones you love can live your best life your whole life long. Take good care, Arkansas. Welcome back to Stuttgart Rice Bird Football, powered by Petrus in Stuttgart, two locations out of Cross from Max Prairie Wings for Ford Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram and down on 19th and Main Street for Chevrolet and GMC. Sales, service, parts, even tires and alignments. Petrus, they've got your transportation needs on the Grand Prairie covered. Stuttgart Ricebirds looking at third down and five from the Lone Oak 17-yard line. Balls on the far hash mark. Birds moving from the left to the right. Headed south here at Ned Mosley Stadium. Back to pass, now rolling to his right, now looking back to the left. He's being chased, and he is in trouble, and he finally gets rid of it. 
intended receiver, number seven, QT Johnson, came back to help him out. And Kane did a good job, Brent, of getting rid of that ball because he was on his way down. Absolutely, yeah. And he avoided a, a huge loss there. But, uh, yeah, got rid of it and and had a receiver in the area. So it definitely should not be grounding. So, so that should take it to fourth down. Now. Officials are talking about it, yeah. but they agree with us. And, of course, we've got a great vantage point on it. QT was coming back to help his quarterback mm -hmm. out, which is what you want your receivers to do for sure. Fourth down now and five for the Rice Birds. Line of scrimmage is the 16-yard line. How about a little hard count, jump off sides? Nope. Takes it. Looks right. Back to the left. Now fires toward the end zone. Incomplete. Good coverage down in the corner of the end zone. Deontay Clark intended receiver. Braden Allen was covering him. And it falls incomplete, so the Rice Birds will turn it over on downs. The Lone Oak Jackrabbits will take over at their own 16-yard line, first down and 10. Yeah, good good coverage that time by Allen. They got a hand in there and knocked the ball away. The penalty, you got to think, is really what hurt the Birds there. Took, them from, took away a uh, touchdown and backed them up a little bit, and Rice Birds unable to get anything on the board there, but Lone Oak is back deep in their own territory here. Here come the Rabbits to the line. Ball's on the far hash mark as they move from the right to the left, the south to the north, headed toward the concession stand area. Four wide outs to the left. He fires out, almost uh, intercepted by the Rice Birds. Yeah, Carson, Carson conditioning came flying in there and got a hand up. I think he got a hand on it. If I think he, got, he did too. Had he got two hands up, he would have been dancing in the end zone That's right That's exactly now. right. We'd be getting Dawson McKelvey out there if he had uh, got both hands up. Second down and 10 for the Lone Oak Jackrabbits from their own 16-yard line. Braden Allen's a quarterback. Shotgun formation takes hands to the back of the backfield, and, boy, there's not much there. He goes right into the arms of Tank Hood. Let's see who else, Brent. There's four uh, or five. Yeah, Nikeel Bradley was in there as well. Got him from the side. Yeah, several rice birds. There's only going to be a gain of one. Going to be, and that's a generous one. Yeah. We're going to call it third down and nine for the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. Ball's in the center of the field. Jackrabbits with their dark purple pants. They've got white helmets and jerseys with dark purple numbers. A lot easier to see the numbers tonight than it was it last is. night, Brent. Yes, it, yeah, yeah, it sure is. They, they uh, stand out pretty well. The junior high last night had dark purple jerseys with black numbers. Here come the Rabbits. Two wide outs to the right, one to the left. Allen back to pass, looking, airs it out long and high, and it's going to land out of bounds. Jamarion Horde here on the sideline had the best shot at it yeah, ten, <coughs> Tanner, for the Rice Birds. Tanner Starks was the intended receiver. He tried a little out, out and up, but the fish weren't biting there for the Rice Birds. Fantastic coverage by Horde, and that pass sailed out of bounds. And, and the Rice Birds forced, forced a three and out, hopefully – we will get pretty good field position here. Sparky Clark is back deep. And back to punt, number three, Tanner Starks for the Jackrabbit, standing at his own two-yard line, awaiting a snap. Good snap, puts his foot into it. It's going to be a fairly low, but a good kick. It's going to be fielded and fumbled, and the ball's still on the ground. It's picked up. Nah, by, he can't run it back. Yeah. Picked up by Lone Oak, and so they're going to take over on the muffed punt at the 41-yard line of the Rice Birds. Yeah, yeah, I think Clark should have called for a, a fair catch there, I believe, and he was trying to catch it and uh, take off running at the same time and just did not secure the ball. So the Jackrabbits come up with the first break here of the night off the Rice Bird muff fumble and then have the ball at the 41. They go from their own 16-yard line to the Rice Bird 41-yard line. That's flipping the field position pretty good it there. It sure is. Three and a half sure minutes is. to go. Opening quarter, Stuttgart with a 7 to nothing lead over the Lone Oak Jackrabbits, a big 2-4A conference matchup here at Ned Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart tonight. But a nice punt by Starks, too, set that up. It was. It was kind of a low, I'm not going to call it a line drive, but it was kind of a knuckleball, a little yep. bit hard to field. Allen, the quarterback, takes pitches over to the right and getting across the 40 down to about the 38-yard line. That's number 18, Jackson on the carry. He's going to have four yards on first down. 
Second down, and yeah, we'll call it six to go. It's a it's a long six, short seven. Three wide outs to the right, which is the short side of the field. Ball's on the far hash mark. Handoff, Ooh. and the Rice Birds are right there for the handoff, You're and not. they bring down the ball carrier. Number eight was Gibson. Nakio Bradley almost, <clears throat> almost, almost was there. got the handoff. Yeah, he was almost there to uh, take the handoff, and he brought Gibson down immediately. And it's going to be a loss of three. And it's going to move it back now and set up a third down and nine from the Stuttgart 41-yard line. 2.32 to go opening quarter. Stuttgart with a 7 to nothing lead over the Lone Oak Jackrabbits here on senior night in Stuttgart, final home game of the regular season. And we've got a timeout. Lone Oak, let's take a 30-second timeout with him. You're listening to Stuttgart Rice Bird Football on Country 97.3 FM. We're part of the EAB Sports Network. When it comes to harvest season, you're no stranger to long hours, which is why your Case IH and Kubota dealer, Progressive Tractor and Implement in Stuttgart, is extending their parts and service hours to help you be ready during this crucial time of year. Trust factory trained technicians to provide knowledgeable expertise and quick turnaround times. Ask Progressive Tractor and Implement about their next day parts availability and count on their professionals to help ensure that your equipment stays up and running all day or all night for maximum production and bushels. Contact your local Case IH and Kubota dealer. Progressive Tractor and Implement for more information. Welcome back to Ned Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart. I'm Lynn Keller sitting alongside Brent Whitman. Stuttgart Ricebirds lead. The Lone Oak Jackrabbits 7 0. Rabbits with the ball. Third down and 10. Braden Allen, the quarterback, takes it. Rolls to his left. Late pitch. Turn in the corner. Running room. 30, 25, 20. Birds aren't going to catch him. Touchdown, Lone Oak. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> the Rice no Bird, flags. No, no, there's not, Lynn. And, and the Rice Birds looked like they had that defended pretty well there. Three or four guys got, got a hand on the running back, just unable to bring him down. And, boy, big play for the Jackrabbits on third and ten. They pick up the touchdown. 2-12 left in the first quarter. And we're a point away from this game being tied. On to attempt the extra point, number 12, Tom Boatwright puts his foot into it, kick is up, and it is good. And we are tied at seven. The Stuttgart Rice Birds and the Lone Oak Jackrabbits, big 2-4A conference matchup. We're back with more Rice Bird football in 30 seconds. Hello, this is Alex Ivey with Ag Heritage Farm Credit Services in Stuttgart. If you're looking to purchase or refinance farm real estate, equipment, cattle, or need capital for your crop operating expenses, we finance it all and share our profits through our patronage program. At Ag Heritage, we have friendly loan officers, competitive rates, and most of all, a lender who provides you with a financing package tailor-made to fit your individual needs. Please contact Kyle Stovison, Kevin Wingfield, or myself, Alex Ivey, in in Stuttgart at 870-673-1558. Ag Services is an equal housing lender. Welcome back to Ned Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart for Stuttgart Rice Bird football. The Lone Oak Jackrabbits have just scored to tie the game at seven. They kick off. Rice Birds fielded at the 25 and a fair catch at yep. that point. So the Rice Birds will start this possession at their own 25-yard line. Coach Coach Price, not sure that that was a. No, no, it was. Clark uh, signaled for a fair catch, but he's not the one that caught it. But but that doesn't matter. It, that's exactly right. And I think that's what Coach Price is telling Sparky. He said, hey, man, once you signal for that, you know, it doesn't matter who catches it. And, of course, Sparky mishandled the yeah, uh, right. punt on the previous play, so maybe a little bit gun shy there as well. Nonetheless, here come the Rice Birds from their own 26-yard line. First down and 10. Kane Price at quarterback. Shotgun formation. Three wide outs to the left. One to the right. Fires out in the flats. Complete. Johnson on the reception. Across the 30 and out to about the 32-yard line. Nice gain on first down. QT doing most of that by himself. Yeah, he's going to have, let's see, I believe five. Yeah, we're we're going to give him five on first down. But, uh, yeah, a nice gain on the quick hitter out to Johnson. 
Two catches, 32 yards for QT tonight. Here come the birds on second down and four. Hand off into the line. Good hard power run. That's going to be good for a Stuttgart Rice Bird first down. Juwan Terry, I believe, on the carry. Yes, yes, yes. it is. Number number 11, six yards for Terry. Four carries, 21 yards in the first quarter for Terry. Set it down at the 38-yard line. Fresh set of downs for the Rice Birds. They break the huddle to the line. Two wide outs to the left, two to the right. Single back standing to the left to price the quarterback. And some movement up front and some encroachment by the defense. Let's see if they were drawn. I don't think they were. It is going to be offsides against the Lone Oak Jackrabbits, so it's going to be first and five now for the Rice Birds as they move the ball out to the 43-yard line of the Rice Birds. 101 to go here in the first quarter. We're all tied at seven. Two wideouts to each side. They send Clark in motion from the right. Do it, give it to him on a little speed pitch and a little speed sweep, and there's just not much there. Line of scrimmage, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and that's going to be it. Completed pass there on, on, on the little pop pass to Clark, but no gain. Ball's going to be at the 43-yard line of the Rice Birds. 30 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. Rice Bird scored on the first possession, 75-yard drive, and they've been inside the red zone again, came away with no points following a penalty, and then they muff a punt that Lone Oak turns around and turns into points. Back to pass, going to air it out long. Got a man. Oh, just overthrown intended receiver Hayden Prine at about the 20-yard line. Hayden had a couple of steps on the defender, but the ball thrown just a little too strong. Yep. And it's going to bring up now third down and five from the 43. Yeah, yeah, I think Kane, Kane just needed to put just a little more air under that one, I believe, and let Prime run under it, and he would have been off to the races. But it's going to bring up a third down five. Big third down for the Rice Bird offense. They've got two wide outs again to each side, single back, standing to the right of Price, the quarterback. Price back to pass, just going to dump it again. Now we've got whistles before the snap. Just going to dump that one out to Juwan Terry, and it looked like Juwan was going to have some running room. Let's see what the infraction is. Yeah, he, he, had, he had one linebacker to avoid. Legal procedure against the Rice Birds, so it's going to bring up now third down and 10 back at the 38-yard line with four seconds to go here in the first quarter. And, they're, and I believe the officials are telling them to change that maybe to seven, seven. seconds. Yeah, I believe so. Or eight. I can't. I think, I think it's seven. But looks like they're working on it. Still don't have it. Still don't have it just yet. It looks like eight. eight. Well, that's seven, eight, eight seconds. Close enough. There we go. Eight seconds to go in the first quarter. Price takes the snap. Rolling now to his right. A lot of real estate in front of him. He's looking. He's looking. Now he's going to tuck it and does a little high step. Gets across the 40, and he's going to be short of a first down. On fourth down, he moves it out to the 44-yard line. But he's going to be a five yards shy of a first down. That's going to be the end of the first quarter. And that is. We've got one quarter in the books. We're all tied up at seven. The Stuttgart Rice Birds and the Lone Oak Jackrabbits 2-4A conference matchup back with second quarter action on Country 97.3 FM. We're part of the EAB Sports Network, and we're back in one minute. Pico Foods says good luck to all the players, coaches, cheerleaders, and marching bands taking the field tonight. Under the lights, it's not about who's in your path, it's about who's in your huddle. And Pico Foods is a proud teammate and supporter of local communities and the state's agricultural producers. Learn more about how Pico Foods buys direct to support local producers. In Arkansas and Missouri, call David Durham or James Chester, 870-202-7101. In Alabama and Mississippi, call Andrew Parker or John Taylor Hickman at 601-670-9383.
Deer season is upon us, and if there's no tree for a tree stand in your favorite hunting spot, then let Max Prairie Wings in Stuttgart help you out with a ground blind instead. Starting at just 125, their all-new Rhino 180 see-through blind takes the world of ground blind hunting to a whole new level. This unique two-way mesh system prevents wild game from seeing in while allowing you to see out with no obstructions. Also, check out their Tacticam Reveal X-Pro Trail cameras that text real-time photos to your cell phone. All this and more are available in-store or online at maxbw.com. Welcome back to Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart. The Rice Birds looking at fourth down and four from their own 44-yard line. Hayden Prine puts his foot into it and punts it all the way down. It's going to go out of bounds at the 22-yard line of Lone Oak, and that's where the Jackrabbits will have it first down and 10. Yeah. Rice Bird football powered by Petrus in Stuttgart. And don't forget, with the two locations, that's two websites as well, PetrusGM.com for Chevrolet and GMC and PetrusAutoSales.com for Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. You can go online to either location, see photographs of the vehicles that they have in stock, all the specifications, even the pricing, a great way to start your shopping experience at either one of the Petrus locations. Petrus powering tonight's Rice Bird football. Brent, here come the Lone Oak Jackrabbits quickly to the line of scrimmage from the near hash mark, three wide outs to the left. Braden Allen fires out in the flats and bottled up for a moment is the receiver. Looked like a hold out there against yeah. Carson Konechny. But no call, nonetheless, looks like no gain as well. From the 21-yard line, it's going to be second down and 10 for Lone Oak just underway. Second quarter, we're tied at seven. Braden Allen, the quarterback with three wide outs to the left, which is the short side of the field. He's just going to tuck it and keep it, and he's going to have some yardage. He's going to have a first down. Powers his way out across the 30, out to about the 34-yard line. And that'll move the sticks for the Jackrabbits, let's say 35-yard line. Yeah, he's going to have almost 13 on that run right up the middle and the first down. Following big number 61, Colton Tricky out there. His right guard. Ball on the far hash mark. He sends four wide outs to the right, which is the wide side of the field. Riceburg show blitz. Lone Oak responds on the pitch, getting out across the 35, out to about the 38-yard line, a gain of about three. Once again, looking like he was shot through the cannon. Yeah. <laughs> shot like a from a cannon through that line. J.K. Yeah, he, he – uh, force the pitch there from Allen, and, and they're doing a, a pretty good job of running that little option pitch, picking up some yards here. Four receivers in a bundle here on the near side of the field. Single back, standing just behind and to the left of Braden Allen, the quarterback. Takes, he's going to hand to that back. That back side steps one and defender. Gets out to the 40-yard line and just across. Going to be four yards short. It's going to bring up now third down and four for the Jackrabbits. 9.55 to go in the first half. We're tied at seven from Mosley Stadium here in Stuttgart. That big play here for the defense, third down and four. You wouldn't think that Lone Oak would go for it if they didn't get it from this spot in the field. Here come the Rabbits. Four wide outs to the left. Single back standing to the left of the quarterback. Quarterback's just going to tuck it and run, and the Rice Bird's going to stop him short of the first down mark. He's going to be about a yard short where they mark forward progress. I think he got a pretty good spot he there. He got a real good spot watching the official on the far sideline yeah, come it running been, up there. Yeah, I think it should have been fourth down and two instead of fourth down and one, but Dylan Duncan hit, hit him a ton right before he got to the first down marker, and it looked like well, not sure what they're going to do here. Looks like they're going to go for it. Fourth down and one. Braden Allen still in at quarterback. Nice crowd across the way. Come down from Lone Oak. And I believe Lone Oak coach wants to talk about it. So let's take a quick 30-second timeout with them. You're listening to Stuttgart Rice Bird Football on Country 97.3 FM. We're part of the EAB Sports Network. 
grill, roast, steam, and smoke. There's nothing a Phoenix Grill from Blue Seal Petroleum and DeWitt can't do. Built like the legendary Holland Grill, a Phoenix Grill is a complete outdoor cooking system, and you can get yours today at Blue Seal Petroleum. Blue Seal also stocks Traeger and all the accessories so you can bring unrivaled flavor to the table. There's no end to grilling season at Blue Seal Petroleum, and shipping is available to the Stuttgart store. Shop the selection today at Blue Seal on South Whitehead Drive in DeWitt, or call 870-946-2281. Welcome back to Mosley Stadium. Fourth down and one for Lone Oak from their own 44-yard line. Handoff into the line. First down, a good hard run just right over the right tackle on the carry, number eight, Gibson, for the Jackrabbits and a fresh set of downs. Yeah, he's going to pick up about two. He, he just needed one. Stuttgart and Lone Oak tied at seven with 8.42 to go here in the first half. I'm Lynn Keller sitting alongside Brent Whitman. We're glad to have you joining us tonight for Rice Bird Football. It's been a, so far a beautiful night here at Mosley Stadium. Big full moon overhead. Rain has held off nicely. Channel 7 was here earlier with their news broadcast at both 5 and 6. Braden Allen, the quarterback for the Rabbits, is just going to keep it himself over the left tackle, and he's going to get forward for a gain of two up to the 48-yard line of Lone Oak. Yeah, took, a, took a pretty good hit by a couple of rice birds there. Picked up two, and that's the thing about Lone Oak, Lynn. You know, the, um, the last couple of years, they have looked all world in the first half. You, yeah. You know, you know, and then that depth kind of kind of gets on them in the fourth quarter, and they kind of get wore down just a little bit. And, of course, their quarterback is their bell cow, Braden yep. Allen, no question about that. We talked about him in the pregame. They send a man in motion from the right to the left, handoff straight up the middle, running room, first down into Ricebird territory, down to the 42-yard line before the pile gets pushed back, but another fresh set of downs coming up for the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. And number, uh, number 10 again on the carry. You know, they ran that man in motion there, kind of gets the eyes of the linebackers in the backfield, and then they run it right up the middle. That's going to be a gain of 10. First down and 10, balls on the far hash mark. The Jackrabbits with their purple pants and numbers. They've got white jerseys and white helmets. The Rice Birds in all maroon with white trim on this beautiful green field turf field here at Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart. Surrounded by a maroon track. Here's another blitz showing by the Rice Birds, and Braden Allen just steps to the side around that, gets forward for about five out to the Rice Bird 36 yard line. You know, they, they're doing a, a good job of uh, picking up some good positive yards on, on first down, which is really setting up second and third down for them well here. They are, they are tr trying to mount a time consuming drive here, 643 left. I tell you, the size of that line that for the Lone yeah. Oak Jackrabbits is huge. It looks like a college line out there, no doubt. Allen sends four wide outs to the right. He's in shotgun formation. Now sends a man in motion. Fakes to him, going to hand to the back in the backfield, straight up the middle, and this is going to be good enough for another first down for the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. Yes, he moves yeah. the ball down to the 31-yard line of the Rice Birds, and with 6-17 to go, Rabbits mounting a drive. They are the, the rabbits on the move. All of it on the ground here. All, all of the positive yards anyway on the ground. This is the Lone Oaks final conference game of the year. Next week is a non-conference matchup. They're trying to go 500 in conference on the season. Handoff into the line. Boy, the Rice Birds just bear hug him at the line of scrimmage. Falls forward though down to about the Ricebird 28-yard line. Gain of about almost four on the play. It's going to bring up now second down and a long six coming up for the Jackrabbits. Again, the ball's on the far hash mark here in the second quarter. The Rabbits moving from the north to the south. The left to the right, for those of you listening on the radio, and, of course, those of you that are watching on our EAB Sports Network, Stuttgart Ricebird YouTube channel, you can see the beautiful picture that uh, bringing you on live stream here tonight. Take handoff up the middle, sidestepping a couple of Rice Bird defenders, getting the ball down to the 25-yard line. And tank Hood on the tackle. Gain of about two. That was number eight on that carry. Gibson's going to bring up third down and about five. 
Tank, one of the seniors that was honored before the game here tonight. He'll be missed next year for sure. Here come the Rabbits with two wide outs to the right, one to the left. Slot on the left. Quarterback takes, rolls to his right. Looking, looking. Now he's just going to dump it across. He's got Tank Hood chasing him. Tank catches him from behind. And there's Carson Konechny out there to help as well bring down the ball carrier, but not before he picks up a first down at the Ricebird 19-yard line. The Rabbits back in the Ricebird red zone. That's seven yards. Just an easy little dump off to Jackson Miller. And the Riceburg defense needs to come up with a negative play here to kind of kind of slow down this, this momentum. Rabbits methodically moving the ball down the field from the near hash mark with three wide outs to the left. Allen calling for the ball, takes hands off to the back end of the line, squirts to the right, still on his feet inside the 10 down to the eight yard line. He's got another first down, got a first and goal to go coming up now for the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. It's gonna be a gain of 11 and then these Jackrabbits are just breaking tackles tonight and the rice bird just not just not wrapping up and bringing them down and that was number nine on that carry who i don't have on my roster first down goal to go for lone oak from the stuttgart eight yard line we're tied at seven lone oak knocking on the door 343 to go first half Braden allen the quarterback's just going to keep it himself powers his way down inside the five close to the three yard line My guess is we'll see that probably a couple more times, one or two more times. Yep, I think so. Lone Oak taking their time. Coach Norton's Rabbits, again, a methodical drive down the field, knocking on the door from the Ricebird three-yard line, second down, goal to go. Braden Allen with four wide outs to the left. He's just going to keep it himself around the left side following the tackle. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Lone Oak. Braden Allen goes in from three yards out with 2.58 to go here in the second quarter, and Lone Oak takes the lead. Three yards, Braden Allen right up the middle, and that whole drive was virtually on the ground, eight, except for that one seven-yard pass, and Riceburg defense is off to a – Sluggish start here. They gave up at a uh, first touchdown on a third down and 10 here. And, and, and this is just a nice methodical drive right down the field. Boat right on. And, low and the low snap is fumbled. And the extra point is no good. Rice birds converge and make sure that Boat right doesn't get a foot into it. But that one was on the snapper, excuse me, on the handler yeah. as uh, the holder as he just could not get it down. Boat right's PAT no good. But Lone Oak takes the lead, 13 to seven over Stuttgart, 2.58 to go in the first half. Back with more Stuttgart Rice Bird football in 30 seconds. $1.2 billion. Imagine what you could do with that much money. Well, thanks to the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery, you don't have to imagine because we can tell you exactly what's possible. You can fund more than 720,000 scholarships for Arkansas students. Scholarships that have educated teachers, nurses, engineers, welders, computer coders, and more, changing their lives and reshaping their communities in the process. So keep playing, Arkansas, and together we can imagine what happens next. Welcome back to Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart, where the Lone Oak Jackrabbits have just taken the lead over the Stuttgart Ricebirds, 13 to seven. They kick off, Ricebirds are gonna return it back across the 30, out to the 34 yard line, and that's where they'll have it first down and 10 with 2.52 to go here in the first half. I'm Lynn Keller sitting alongside Brent Whitman, and Brent, that was an impressive drive by the Jackrabbits as they just marched the ball right down the field. Yeah, they sure did, they're the defense Missed a few tackles, and Lone Oak sees the momentum there, and they have a lead here. Plenty of time for the offense, 252 and two timeouts. They missed the extra points, so they lead 13-7. to seven. Kane Price, quarterback, takes a snap, back to pass, airs it out long, and a little, little uh, contact out there, but the ball a little bit off the mark as well. Deontay Clark intended receiver, but good coverage by the Jackrabbits, but again, the ball just not quite on target. Second down, 10 coming up for the Rice Birds from their own 34-yard line. Yeah, Clark with only uh, 
that that one big gainer earlier on that little push pass uh, for 26 yards so the birds unable to get sparky on track yet tonight three wide outs to the left one to the right single back standing to the right of price the quarterback takes the snap back to pass looks fires out's got deontay clark at the 31 yard line now he cuts up field across the 40 now there's a penalty marker he's off to the races this one is probably going to come back and they do a tomahawk chop on him down at about the 15, get him out of bounds. But we've got a flag all the way back at the 39-yard line. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, and we've already seen one touchdown taken off the board because, because of a penalty, and this was going to be another huge gainer all the way down to about the 15, but it's coming all the way back. Think and again, the flag laying at the 39-yard line of the Rice Birds, 231 to go here in the first half. Oh, that was a blindside block. That was not a blindside block. That was a block in the back. I did see that. A blindside block is when you catch them from the front and they don't have their head turned correct. around. It. Yeah, correct. This, this was just a straight up block in the back. I saw that one. And they picked up the flag, moved it back a little further, and so, they're going to mark it off now from the 35. So this put it back at the 20-yard line. If it, yes, that's where the Rice Birds are going to have it. So uh, they traverse the length of the field here on that Ooh, penalty. Sure it goes from the 15 of Lone Oak to the Rice Birds' own 20-yard line. Four wideouts, two on each side. Kane Price, the quarterback, takes the snap, back to pass, just going to dump it out. He's got his man completed. 20, 25, 30, running room, 35, 40, and out to the first down mark. How about that, Jawan Terry on the reception for the Rice Birds? Jawan Terry, and he's going to have, I think he's going to have the first down. Yes, he, sure he is. is. 25 yards on the little dump-off screen pass, and, boy, that's exactly what the offense needed. 2.16 to go, plenty of time for the Rice Birds here in the first half. They trail 13 to 7. Here come the birds from the far hash mark. Price going to take handoff into the line. A little bit of running room. A lot of collision in there as well. Gets out across the 45, all the way out to the 48-yard line. Jawan Terry is going to have about four. Brings up second down and six from the Rice Bird 48-yard line. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Back to pass. Looking to his right. Now he's in trouble. He cuts back all the way back to the left. Now he looks, he fires. He's got a man complete at the 38-yard line. 35, sidesteps the defender. 30, 25, 20, and finally out of bounds inside the 20-yard line on the far side. Boy, Kane Price that time did a good job of just keeping that play alive and keeping his eyes downfield once he got away. And, boy, Sparky Clark was wide open there on the far side, and that's a big play all the way down to the 17, 18-yard line. Credit Kane for, for keeping his eyes moving no and doubt. looking for that target. Here come the birds. First down and 10 from the 18 of Lone Oak. And a whistle well, before. Timeout time Lone Oak. Timeout Lone Oak. Let's take a quick 30-second timeout with them. You're listening to Stuttgart Rice Bird Football on Country 97.3 FM. We're part of the EAB Sports Network. Petrus Auto Group is a proud supporter of the Stuckart Rice Birds. This fall, while heading out to the game, arrive in style in a new truck or SUV from Petrus. 2024s are hitting the lot, but you still have time to custom order your new ride. With two locations, Petrus Auto Sales and Petrus Chevrolet GMC, we are proud to be your Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, GMC, and Chevy dealer on the Grand Prairie. Welcome back to Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart for Stuttgart Rice Bird football powered by Petrus in Stuttgart. And don't forget, if you drive by either location and don't see exactly what you're looking for, give them a call or stop in. They may have it on the way or they'll get it for you. I promise you, Petrus, they got your transportation needs on the Grand Prairie covered. First down and 10 for the Rice Birds from the 18-yard line of the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. Kane Price back to pass, looking, looking, dumps across to, I believe, Johnson. QT Johnson. Yeah, yeah QT Johnson. Boy, what up. a catch, Brent. Yeah, it was. He came all the way across the field and then had to reach out for it and uh, made a nice catch and a gain of six. 
Second down and four coming up from the 12 yard line of the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. A minute 24 to go in the first half. Rice Birds with two timeouts remaining, plenty of time. They trail by one, 13 to seven. Price is going to send three wide outs to the left, one to the right. Jawan Terry standing to the left of Kane Price, the quarterback. Back to pass, looking, firing toward the end zone, and it is caught. Touchdown, Rice Birds. Ross Atkinson. Clutch. Ross Atkinson in the corner of the end zone, and the fireworks go off here at Mosley Stadium as we're tied at 13. 12 yards, Ross Atkinson from Kane Price. And, and Lynn, I know you call him clutch, and boy, any time that you get the ball near him, he is going to come down with it. And that was just a one-on-one -on -one fade pattern, and Ross elevated up and came down with it. And we are a point away from giving the Ricebergs the lead back. Dawson McKelvey on for the PAT, the hold of Hayden Prime. Good snap, good hole, kick is up, and it is good. And the Stuttgart Rice Birds have regained the lead over the Lono Jackrabbits. They lead 14 to 13 with a minute 18 to go in the first half. Back with more Stuttgart Rice Bird football in 30 seconds. Quarterback, guard, running back, every position has a role in building success. If you want a position where you can build success in your own career, Lexicon is hiring welders, millwrights, and many more positions. We offer free on-the-job training through our own Lexicon University so you can learn while you earn and build the career you want. Competitive pay, a great health care plan, paid vacation, a sweet 401k plan, and more. Find out more at lexicon-inc.com slash football. And we welcome you back to Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart. Senior night here for the Stuttgart Rice Birds. I'm Lynn Keller sitting alongside Brent Whitman. Stuttgart Rice Birds have just scored and with the extra point have regained the lead over the Lone Oak Jackrabbits 14 to 13. Dawson McKelvey puts his foot into it. End over end is going to be taken at the 19. Back across the 25 and brought down to the 27 yard line. Nice job by special teams for the Rice Birds getting down there quickly was Cordero Berry, one of the ninth graders that have moved up for the Rice Birds. That's right, fantastic speed for Berry, and he gets down there and just takes the legs away from the return man, and now he's he is limping just a little bit on the sidelines, but I think he'll be okay. Lone Oak Jackrabbits out of timeouts. They'll have it first down and 10 at their own 27-yard line. How about a turnover here? That would be great. Let's even that up. Rice Birds uh, have turned it over once on a muffed punt. Let's see if we can't even out that turnover ratio. Braden Allen's the quarterback for the Jackrabbits. Shotgun formation sends four wide outs to the left, which is the wide side of the field. Moving from the left to the right. Takes a snap. He's just going to dump it. He's got his man, and I'm telling you, he is hammered by the Rice Birds. He won't go down, but he just taking lick after lick, and now the birds finally get him on the ground. That's going to be a, it's going to be a loss of about six as they tried the screen pass that time. But, boy, Kamarion Pickett just came just – just came right right around the blockers that time, and they did not even see him, and he hammered the ball carrier. Timeout for the Rice Birds. Rice Birds are going to call timeout, which will give them one, one yeah. I believe, yeah, them is one correct. And, yeah, and I think they're looking to put maybe a few seconds back on the clock. Coach Price, of course, thinking about the possibility of getting that ball back yep. before the half. We've got a minute five to go here in the first half. Rice Birds lead Lone Oak by a score of 14 to 13. Got a moment here. I want to mention that uh, the Rice Birds pregame meal tonight provided by Southside Baptist Church. Appreciate so much all the individuals and organizations that step up each and every week to uh, keep our Rice Birds fed and keep them happy. And we appreciate Southside Baptist Church for providing the pregame meal tonight. Also, special word of thanks again. Fireworks tonight sponsored in memory of Marion McCullum by Max Prairie Wings. Of course, Marion was on the 1960s Rice Bird football team. He was number 12. And of course, Marion McCullum certainly missed here on the Prairie. Handoff into the line. Rice Birds, nice job defensively and quickly called timeout again. Rice Birds do. So it's going to set up now third down 
And it looks to see, Brand, it's going to be about 13, 13 yeah. to go with a minute two to go here in the first half. We'll keep it right here and remind you that Ricebird football is powered by Petrus in Stuttgart. Great selection at Petrus Auto Sales, including some hard-to-get items like a full-size Ford Bronco Raptor. Come by and take a look at that beauty. Also, some Ram 2500 HD trucks in stock, and those have been scarce everywhere, but they've got them in stock at Petrus Auto Sales out across from Max Prairie Wings in Stuttgart. Petrus powering tonight's Rice Bird football. Coming out of the timeout, third down and 13 for the Jackrabbits. I wouldn't. I wouldn't look for him for for them to pass here. I think they would run it and just keep the clock rolling. And the quarterback is just going to keep yep. it right up in the middle, and the Rice Bird's going to bottle him up at the 25 yard line. Yeah, no, no timeouts left for the Rice Birds here. They can just run it and keep the clock running down until they have to punt and reset the reset the play clock here. There we go. Now it's running down. Yeah. 53, 52. Not going to be much left when they punt it here. No, there's not opportunity possibly you know to maybe catch a mishandled punt right. uh from you know for the punter but i guarantee you that uh lonok's going to let every second possible yep. come off the clock that they can coach yep. chris norton they might even take a penalty and that you're exactly right now they make a quick wholesale change bring their punting team on their punter is going to be back at about his own 10 yard line awaiting the snap here is the snap, and he does mishandle it. He gets the foot on, but it's going to go straight up. Rice birds are going to have some pretty good field position. How in the world did he get that thing Boy, off? I don't know. He sure did. Boy, he made a he made a nice play on it. Yeah, just to field it and then to uh, get a kickoff. He kicked it up pretty high. It wasn't really too far, but only nine seconds left and no timeouts here. So the Rice birds are really going to have to – Take a shot deep here or or maybe just a quick hitter out of bounds and try to get that clock stopped. <laughs> and talking about taking a hit, the gentleman in the white hat he out did. there just got hit in the head with a football from his one of his lineman officials out sure there. And did. he just he just made the motion that he was throwing him out of the game. <laughs> so here we go. The Stuttgart Rice Birds with nine seconds to go in the first half. They lead 14 to 13. They've got the ball. First down and 10 at the Lone Oak 48 yard line. Have we got some trickeration up our sleeves, Brent? Maybe the hook and lateral. Rolling to his right, Kane Price looks, fires, and into the sidelines. Got Sparky Clark, Clark complete inside the 40 with five seconds to go. So the birds have at least a shot for another play. It was going to be a gain of eight. Mark it right at the 40-yard line of the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. This eerily similar to a week ago. Yep. Where the Rice Birds kind of ran out of time in the first half then, too, Absolutely, Brent. they sure did. Knocking on the door against the Hebrew Springs Panthers. And right out of bounds at about the four-yard line. Right. Got a cluster of receivers split wide to the right, which is the short side of the field. Back to pass. Looking, looking, looking. Now he's going to just dump it into the sidelines. Nobody's home. Still has one second left, though. Does have one second. So let's see. Yeah. The officials are going to look at this possibility of a intentional uh, grounding. I think, it, think it probably should be. Price was under some heavy pressure that time. And back, there was not a receiver. And right. there, there is the flag. Yeah. And that's the right call. It there is, was not a receiver is. in the area. And so this will be a loss of down <clears throat> and a spot foul. It'll be marked at the spot of the foul. But still one second. Yeah, so the Rice Birds, second. if they want to try something, they, they certainly can. Maybe they can get a pass interference downfield. Exactly. And of course the play won't end the game, excuse me, the half won't end on a defensive penalty. Yeah. So this is going to move the ball back to the Stuttgart 48 yard line. What is immaterial is it's third down and 13, but that's immaterial. There's one second on the clock. So unless there's a defensive penalty, this will be the final play. Going to dump it across Juwan Terry at the 45 midfield, 45, 40, got a little room, 35, 30. And out of bounds, and that's going to do it. First half, I don't see any penalty markers. And the Stuttgart Rice Birds are making their way to the locker room, as is the Lone Oak Jackrabbits, as we have reached the halftime. And the fireworks go off here in the south end zone. And the Rice Birds go to the half, leading 14 
to 13. We've got the Stuttgart Ricebird Marching Band coming your way here shortly. The Lone Oak Marching Band is going to perform first, and we're going to bring you the sights of them as well as the sights and sounds of the Stuttgart Ricebird Marching Band coming up. Brent will have the halftime stats. We'll have the scoring summary, and we'll try to get some other scores from around the area to see what's going on. We've got all that and more coming up for you on the Southern Bancorp Halftime Show, and we'll get started on that in five minutes. At Southern Bank Corp, we are wealth builders for everyone. We see building wealth as helping people succeed in creating strong financial futures. For some, it's having tools to build credit and buy a first home. For others, working with our award-winning SBA team to launch or grow a small business. And still others might use our unique savings plan today to save for tomorrow's dreams. Wherever you are in your wealth building journey, Southern Bank Corp can help. Stop by or visit banksouthern.com to get started. Southern Bank Corp, member FDIC, equal housing lender. There's a place to go in South Arkansas County for both your household and farm supplies. Visit U.S. Irrigation Distributors DeWitt location and see Brian for hardware, parts, tools, and household items. Plus all your farm needs from levee gates to steel, PVC, and poly pipe. Dan's boots with chaps, muck boots, and twisted X footwear with new items arriving weekly. For farm and home, see Brian at U.S. Irrigation Distributors DeWitt location at 550 Highway 165 North or give him a call at 946 946- 4116. A generator is one of those things you never think about until you need it. Um, How about a hot shower? It's amazing how important the little things really are in these situations. At Durden's in Stuttgart, we like to help make the little things easier. That's why we're now your local authorized Generac dealer. And that's important too, because not all companies can sell, install, and provide warranty service on your generator but Durden's can. Let's face it, a generator is a big investment. Keep it ready to run correctly so you're not left in the dark when the next storm or outage happens. Call us today at 673-1356 for home backup options, portable generators, and even commercial options for your business. You can also request service for your generator online at durdeninc.com schedule. Let's skip the cold showers and save the candlelight dinners just for date night. Durden's in Stuttgart, guaranteed comfort since 1960. Across Arkansas, Farmers and Merchants Bank and the Bank of Fayetteville join you in cheering on our favorite teams. We applaud the extra effort from neighbors like you that make our local schools and activities an integral part of our community. Working as a team to help you reach your goals is a perfect game plan for success. The Farmers and Merchants Bank and the Bank of Fayetteville. Finally, a bank in your corner. MeBanking.com, member FDIC. With power and versatility, the Kubota M7 tractor is built for hay and forge work. Up to 168 horsepower, superior loader lift capacity, easy to use controls, all day comfort. And your choice of a 30 by 15 semi power shift or Kubota variable transmission. And rated number one in durability and owner experience. Talk to your hometown Kubota dealer today to schedule a demo. Go to KubotaUSA.com for full disclaimer. River Valley Tractor. Great products at great prices from great people. With eight locations, they're right in your backyard. Visit RiverValleyTractor.com or go to KubotaUSA.com. USA.com for more information. Did you know that since 1907, Lane has been providing water services to cities, industries, and farmers, not just in the Grand Prairie area, but all across the state. Lane provides pump sales and installation, constructs and designs water wells, and installs underground pipes. Lane also has an in-house machine shop, which is prepared to service and repair all brands and sizes of pumps, gear drives, and motors, along with the complete parts department open to the public. For all your water needs, contact Lane first at 2015 South Main in Stuttgart or call 870-673-1591. Express Employment Professionals is hiring right now, near you. Express Employment in Stuttgart is now hiring for seasonal and permanent positions throughout Eastern Arkansas. If you're looking for a new position, from CDL drivers and clerical workers to warehouse and mill workers, call or text today. Express also offers seasonal positions at Riceland that could transition into a long-term and lucrative career in the rice industry. These jobs are a great opportunity to earn extra money with substantial overtime. Now is the time to join Riceland in Lono, Kazan, Desart, Dumas, Pendleton, Fair Oaks, Hickory Ridge, Parkin, Wheatley, or 
or Stuttgart. Seasonal positions include harvest labor, dump operators, sample house workers, and appraisal. Express Employment Professionals is always free, and they offer free direct deposit or prepaid debit cards. Stop the job shuffle. Apply for a permanent or seasonal position now. Call or text 870-672-4568 to schedule an appointment to apply in person at Express Employment in Stuttgart or begin your application online at ExpressPros.com. That's ExpressPros.com or 870-672-4568. No matter if you're a first-time home buyer or an experienced one, having an expert by your side makes all the difference. At Brothers Realty in Stuttgart, their team will guide you through every step of buying and selling real estate from credit to loan applications and finally handing you the keys. You can count on personal attention and professional service with Brothers Realty. Call them at 870-659-4218 or explore listings at brothers-realty.com. Follow them on Instagram and Facebook at Brothers Realty. Your next move starts here with Brothers Realty. And we welcome you to the Southern Bancorp Halftime Show tonight from Ned Mosley Stadium on the campus of Stuttgart High School in Stuttgart, Arkansas. Cited tonight's big 2-4-A conference matchup between the Stuttgart Ricebirds and the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. And the Ricebirds lead here at the half by a score of 14-13. to 13. Right now on the field, it's the Lone Oak High School Marching Band performing before the home crowd here. And coming up shortly after will be the Stuttgart Ricebird Marching Band ahead of their state appearance uh, this coming Monday where they will compete at the state level at War Memorial Stadium in Little Rock. They just completed a marching assessment where they got superior ratings and that qualified them for the state. And they'll go perform and represent Stuttgart High School again in Little Rock at War Memorial Stadium this coming Monday. I think the performance time is 1.30. And, of course, everyone is welcome, and, and the band would absolutely love to have a nice cheering section there, rooting for them as well as they perform in the state competition, representing all the Stuttgart Rice Birds and their fans. Lone Oak Jackrabbit Marching Band looking sharp with their black slacks, purple tops. And their flag line out there in the back look, look like are making a little bit of a costume change here. Stuttgart Ricebird Marching Band getting set up for their performance. And their theme this year has been the Grand Prairie Grand Prix, which was a sports car racing event that was taking place at the airport in Stuttgart from 1959 through 1978. And they've kind of based their performance off of that with a lot of themes around racing. And in order to put that on, they've had special props, special uniforms, and so forth. And, of course, all of that takes money, and they have some great sponsors. And I'm going to take just a moment and tell you who the sponsors are for the Ricebird Marching Band. Petrus, Sutherland's, Quality Sign, Cadence Bank, Hearts Farm Management, Konechny Insurance Services, Wilkerson Jewelers, Max Prairie Wings, Pearson Company, Express Employment Professionals, Melody Stackhouse, Sherwin-Williams, Prairie Implement Company, Jana Townsend, Southeast Arkansas Behavioral Health Care System, Bill and Janice Reed, John and Nancy Moore, Malcolm and Sippy Smith, David and Jimmy Joe Leach, Fastenal, AP Fabrications, Southern Bancorp, Farmers and Merchants Bank, Hoskin Enterprises, and Rotary Club of Stuttgart sponsoring the Ricebird Marching Band performance both tonight, all season long, and of course, again, in the state marching contest that's coming up this coming Monday at War Memorial Stadium in Little Rock. Before the Ricebird Marching Band makes its way out onto the field, let's take a moment and look at the scoring summary from tonight's game. Going back to the first quarter, 
And the Stuttgart Ricebirds looked like they were going to make it an easy night as they march. They take the opening kick. They march it down the field. Kane Price hits Kevon Conway with a 33-yard touchdown. Dawson McKelvey's PAT was good. And with 10.40 to go in the first quarter, less than two minutes gone, the Ricebirds led 7 to nothing. But Lone Oak comes back. Marquez Jackson goes, from, goes in from 41 yards out. Tom Boatwright's PAT was good. And with 2.12, to go in the first quarter, we're all tied at seven. Then Lone Oak takes the lead, 258 mark of the second quarter. Braden Allen goes in from three yards out, but the PAT was no good. Lone Oak led at that point 13 to seven. Then with 118 to go in the first half, Kane Price hit clutch. Ross Atkinson for a 12 yard touchdown. Dawson McKelvey's PAT was good, and the Ricebirds regained the lead 14 to 13. They did have an effort to uh, hold Lone Oak to a three and out, force them to punt, and just exactly what you hoped would happen, the punter mishandles the snap, yeah. but manages to pick it up and yeah. get a punt off, got it out close to near, near midfield. Ricebirds unable to do anything with it in that short period of time with no timeouts. So that sets our mark here, the Ricebirds lead, Lone Oak 14 to 13 at the half. Lone Oak Jackrabbit Marching Band has completed their, their performance, and we're going to now have some seniors recognized here on senior night, and boy, there's a bunch of them here too as well. They're also going to recognize the Ricebirds cross country team completed their season. Cross country, Brent, getting very popular uh, around here. It certainly is. Yeah, you know, um, you know, and they have a lot of kids, um, you know, that run at a time too. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, 100, 200, sometimes kids out there on the course, and yeah, you know, that's a that's in that's definitely a growing sport. You know, and and the Ricebirds hosted in conjunction with PCCUA on their course out by the college. They hosted a cross-country event a couple of weeks ago, Brent, and yeah. we have actually talked about this on the air since then. <clears throat> I counted 13 buses from different schools out here. Wow. When you consider all of the kids that are brought and you consider parents and, and friends and fans that follow them around as well, and you think about the impact that that makes economically for the area, that's a good hit for oh, the Stuttgart area, yeah. no question. Your restaurants, yep. your gas stations, uh, places like Max Prairie Wings and yep. so forth, all benefit from those people coming in and visiting town for a different reason. But but it, they're here, and it gets them yep. here. So when I look out at the construction that's going on here, Brent, with the new baseball and softball complex and also the new gymnasium that's being built, mm -hmm. I, I think about all the things that can be uh, – held here now and all the tournaments that can be held here and the positive impact that that's going to have on the area. Absolutely. Fan fantastic stuff uh, coming along here for the Rice Birds and for the town in general. Um, you know, in the next couple of years, and, you know, you and I talked about this a little bit off air. This is the last home game for the Rice Birds, and this is probably the last home game for the Rice Birds ever with this current configuration with the bathrooms yes. and the concession stand and the parking and such but because you know once they get these softball and uh, baseball fields the one of the entries or or i guess would that be the main entry it will be on the south west corner down here i now. think that is correct yeah. you'll have restrooms you'll have concession stand mm -hmm. area because <clears throat> the existing concession stand for those familiar with ned mosley stadium here will be torn down yep. because the that in the bathroom complex is going to be where the new gymnasium is located. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah you know, that concession stand ha has been here as long as I can remember, too. It, um, <laughs> it really has. Yep. But, yeah, but yeah, you know, it's going to be a fantastic new look down there and, you know, with some new parking and new bathrooms, concession stand and everything, and a new entrance. And, yeah, so it's really going to add, add some life here, I think, to the stadium. I think so, too. And, again, create great opportunities for the community no, to, no doubt to host that. events. <clears throat> and benefit from that. The cross country team is what is being recognized here now. The seniors. Yeah, and the senior cheerleaders may be out there now. Yes, starting at uh, just past midfield there, then there are the senior cheerleaders. So nice recognition 
for them here. It's the Southern Bancorp halftime show tonight from Ned Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart. Proudly supporting Arkansas and the Sportsman, it's Southern Bancorp with flexible lending, customized accounts, and financial development services aimed at helping put you and your family on the path to economic opportunity. Southern Bancorp is indeed wealth builders for everyone. Located in Stuttgart here on 620 East 22nd Street. And for our friends in DeWitt, located at 220 West Cross, <clears throat> that's Southern Bancorp. Be sure and visit them online as well, banksouthern.com. That is the website for Southern Bancorp. And we have filled the field up here at Ned Mosley Stadium with senior cheerleaders and senior cross-country team members <clears throat> as we still await the Ricebird Marching Band. And until they get out and get set up, let's take another break here on the Southern Band Corp Halftime Show. When we come back, we'll have the Ricebird Marching Band performance. Brent will have our halftime stats, and we'll try to get some scores from around the area as well. Got all that more coming up for you in three minutes. When it comes to harvest season, you're no stranger to long hours, which is why your Case IH and Kubota dealer, Progressive Tractor and Implement in Stuttgart, is extending their parts and service hours to help you be ready during this crucial time of year. Trust factory trained technicians to provide knowledgeable expertise and quick turnaround times. Ask Progressive Tractor and Implement about their next day parts availability and count on their professionals to help ensure that your equipment stays up and running all day or all night for maximum production and bushels. Contact your local Case IH and Kubota dealer, Progressive Tractor and Implement, for more information. Now is the time to gear up for the hunt just in time for deer season. And as always, Max Prairie Wings in Stuttgart has got you covered. Like the Big Game Hunter HD 1.5 Ladder Stand, now $149. Or the Money Outdoor Skybox Deluxe Ladder Stand at only $189. All this along with the vast selection of gear rifles, high-quality scopes, rifle ammo, and deer scent, Max has everything you need to bag that buck. In Stuttgart or online at maxpw.com. Max Prairie Wings, your one-stop shop for all of your hunting needs. Baptist Health Medical Center Stuttgart is your trusted partner in wellness. With services like cardiology, orthopedics, and women's health, we provide safe, expert care backed by Arkansas's largest and most preferred health care provider. Utilizing advanced technology and an emergency department staffed by highly qualified, dedicated providers, we provide the immediate care you and your family can count on when it matters most. Comprehensive services, knowledgeable caregivers, state-of-the-art technology, caring environment, Christian compassion, trust Baptist Health. To learn more, visit Baptist-Health.com. Every player on the football team has an important job so the team can reach its goal and success. Join our team at Lexicon right now and we'll help you reach your goals and success. Lexicon offers free on-the-job training through our own Lexicon University. We also offer competitive pay, a great health care plan, paid vacation, a sweet 401k plan, and more. Find out more at Lexicon-Inc.com slash football. Mark your calendars for Stuttgart's Holiday Open House. Falling early this year on Sunday, October 29th from 1 to 5 p.m. It's the shopping event of the season. Discover exclusive specials, savor delightful sips and snacks, win fabulous giveaways, and so much more. Join Cooker Hampton Drug Company and Gift Shop, Holmes Media LLC, Wilkerson Jewelers, Open Season Sports Bar and Grill, and more this Sunday starting at 1 for Holiday Open House in Stuttgart. Don't miss out on the festive fun. See you there. Prairie Implement Company introduces Spartan Mowers, the strongest lineup in the mowing industry. With the SRT, RT, RZ, and KG series, they have the perfect mower to fit any yard, any size, any time. From compact to commercial, 42 to 72 inch deck sizes with power all the way to 38.5 horses. You just won't find a better mower anywhere, period. Spartan Mowers are assembled in the USA, forged with a seven gauge steel to bring you the strongest lineup in America. Check out the new Spartan Mowers at Prairie Implement Company in Stuttgart. Get yours today. Welcome back to the Southern Bancorp Halftime Show. 
we had a little technical snafu there and, and uh, hope that didn't blow anybody's eardrums out that might have had headphones on. And uh, we apologize for that. As we're getting set here to have the field sound for the Rice Bird Marching Band, but Brent, I'm beginning to wonder if that's going to happen tonight I because so. of the senior presentation. Uh, I've got it all set up and was hoping to let everyone hear the Rice Bird Marching Band, but with the recognition of the seniors, now I'm seeing the football teams making the way out of the locker rooms. That may not happen here tonight, so we'll, we'll just keep you posted on that. Uh, as we go. Brent, let's take a look at the stats from the first half. Of course, the Rice Birds have a slim lead 14 to 13 here at the half over the, the uh, Lone Oak Jackrabbits. All right, for the Lone Oak Jackrabbits, they are led on the ground by Marquez Jackson Jr. He, he's number 18. He has nine carries for 77 yards, including a 38-yard touchdown run. Braden Allen on the ground, 10 carries for 26, and he has a three-yard touchdown run through the air. Allen is six out of eight, but for only 10 yards. And they are led receiving by Luke Isbell, who has two catches. That's 118 rushing yards, 10 pass yards, only 128 total yards for Lone Oak in the first half. For the Rice Birds, Jawan Terry, five carries, 25 yards. Kane Price, two for eight. 33 yards rushing for the Rice Birds. Kane Price, though, through the air, 11 out of 15, 225 yards in the first half. Deontay Clark has four catches for 66. Ross Atkinson, two for 60 and a touchdown. Kevon Conway, one for 33 and a touchdown. QT Johnson, three for 38. Juwan Terry, two for 55. So that's 225 through the air, 33 on the ground, 258 for Stuttgart to only 128 for, for Lone Oak and Lynn. The uh, turnover and the flag that uh, took the penalty off the board it's what is keeping Lone Oak in this game. Yeah, you're exactly right, Brent. Uh, came up with no points <clears throat> yep. after getting into the end zone down there and that flag, as you mentioned, and, of course, that uh, muffed punt that uh, Lone Oak turned into points certainly has kept them in the game, as you mentioned. Stuttgart Rice Birds now coming out and limbering up, as is the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. We show to have a couple minutes left to go here, and the Rice Bird Marching Band is not going to take the field here tonight. So let's take one more time out here on the Southern Bancorp Halftime Show. When we come back, we'll be set for the second half kick of tonight's game. The Rice Birds lead the Jackrabbits 14 to 13 at the half. We're back in one minute. Producers Rice Mill in Stuttgart is proud to sponsor this broadcast of Rice Bird Sports. Producers is here for you year-round, providing the hometown service you desire. Producers supports community activities and is proud to be a part of the Grand Prairie. If you're enjoying this broadcast of Rice Bird Sports, let our sponsors know because without their support, this broadcast would not be possible. Producers Rice Mill in Stuttgart, supporting the community and Rice Bird Sports. Your business is up against a lot of things these days. Inflation costs, workforce issues, federal overreach, the list of things keeping you up at night keeps getting longer. The Arkansas State Chamber Associated Industries of Arkansas is here to help. We are constantly working to improve the business climate and make Arkansas as competitive as possible. The Arkansas State Chamber Associated Industries of Arkansas works tirelessly for your business so you can rest easy. Join us today. And we welcome you back to Ned Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart as we conclude the Southern Bancorp halftime show. The Stuttgart Rice Birds lead the Lone Oak Jackrabbits 14 to 13 here on senior night at Mosley Stadium. I'm Lynn Keller sitting alongside Brent Whitman. We want to thank you for listening to the Southern Bancorp halftime show. We appreciate Southern Band Corp for their support each and every Friday night. A little programming note as well coming up this coming week. Brent and I will come to you on Thursday night as the Stuttgart Rice Birds will conclude their regular season on a Thursday night. Even though the schedules say that game is on Friday, it has been moved to Thursday. So certainly make note. And, uh, and tune us in if you can't be at the game at Ball Knob next Thursday. Yeah, it's going to be a big one here because if the Rice Birds hold on to this lead, they will have the uh, uh, thir third place seed will be on the line. And even, and even maybe if the Rice Birds lose, they still might have the third place seed on the line 
if they were to beat Ball Knob and then right. be tied with them, we would still have the uh, third seed. But we'd like to win this game here tonight and then uh, see what happens next week. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a big game either way next Thursday night at Ball Knob. Thursday night football for the second week in week a row. Week in a row, that's right. Brent and I were in Lone Oak last night for the Riceburg Junior game. Junior Rice Birds and the Lone Oak Junior Jackrabbits both went into that game undefeated. Lone Oak comes out on top with a conference championship. But, boy, what a great season the Junior Rice Birds had. Here's a line drive. It's going to be fielded to 25. And then massive collision on the return was number four, Tyler Johnson, for the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. And Cordero Berry, Lynn, again, down there and in on the tackle. Boy, good. Good to see those ninth graders out there with some uh, hard hits. And that's what we need because in the first half, that defense missed a few tackles and just didn't wrap up and, you know, really gave a Lone Oak some, some extra yardage. All right, here come the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. They'll have the ball first here in the second half. They're going to be moving from the left to the right. The Lone Oak Jackrabbits with white helmets and jerseys, dark purple pants, dark purple numbers on their jerseys. Quarterback Braden Allen back to pass, fires it down in the flats, complete, but but defended very nicely by the Rice Birds. Hustling out there, Jamarion Horde makes a stop right at the line of scrimmage. No gain, so it's going to be second down and 10 for the Rabbits. Yeah, nice, nice stop there by the Rice Bird defense, wrapping up and not letting them get any extra yards at all on that play. Stuttgart Rice Birds dressed in all maroon with white numbers, white trim on the helmets. Jackrabbits with four wideouts to the left, sends one of those in motion to the right. Quarterback Allen's just going to keep it himself. Not much there. The Rice Birds once again led by number six, Jamarion Horde on the stop. Carson Kanishny in there as well. Just, yep. just drove Allen back. He gained maybe a yard, but nothing else going for Allen. It's going to bring up third down and nine, and a big third down and nine here. Let's see if these Rice Birds can get the Jackrabbits off the field with a quick three and out here to start the second half. We talk about it week in and week out, Brent, that first possession of the third quarter, one of the most important of the ball game. It is. And the Rice Bird defense would love to get a stop here. Third down and nine. Empty backfield. Rice Bird show blitz. Quarterback rolling to his right, looking. Now we got a penalty marker. He passes complete deep into Rice Bird territory all the way down to the 26, but very likely got a hold yes. coming up here that's – the flag thrown back at the 32-yard line. Yes. This is going to be a costly penalty for the Jackrabbits. No doubt. That was a preliminary signal from the referee in the white hat, and this is going to back them up. I Big gainer there for Lone Oak on that play, but it's Jayden coming all the way back. Uh, was, the, was the receiver number two and just hit him in stride perfectly across the middle in some loose coverage by the Rice Bird secondary. And they're going to mark this one off from the 32 back to the 28 yard line. So again, a very costly penalty as they had moved it ball down to the right inside the rice bird 30. Allen takes once again, just a little shovel pass out to the back coming out of the backfield and he tries to turn the corners feet go out from under him and rice birds converge. You know, Landon Bryant got up there on him pretty quick that time and trying to make a big hit and Jackson's feet just went out from under him. He didn't. He gained maybe a yard or two, and that's going to be it. And, and that's going to force a jackrabbit punt. That's exactly what the Rice Birds wanted. Yep. They get a three and out, and dodge a bullet with that big penalty against Lono. Punter standing at his 14 gets his foot into it. It's ah. going to be a high kick, and the Rice Birds get away from it. Boy, it takes a jackrabbit roll like nobody's business. It, it did. It. It hit at about the Rice Birds 47 or 48 and rolled all the way back inside the 35. And there's and a flag there's way a flag down back. back down the field. And let's see what this is. Yeah, I had my eyes watching the punt. I'm not sure what this is going to be. And we'll see here Looks in like just a second. Might be signaling. Well, he's holding his hand right on his chest. That's a like an illegal substitution. Or he's having chest pains, one or the well, other. Well, either one. Let's hope it's the <laughs> former, not the latter. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. And I don't mean to make fun of that. All right. Uh, after that conversation, here we go. I'm, I'm hearing some. Yeah, it's on them. And I think they're giving us the option to re-kick or t take the ball. And I think, I think you're going to have him re-kick. I think he is 
No, he's well. I thought it, I thought that's what he signaled too, but apparently not. The offense is out there. So no, we're going to take the ball at the 34. 940. I, yeah. I got to tell you, that surprises me, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> me too. It, it, yeah, yeah. Me too. Because because Coach Price throughout the years has been making teams re-kick, especially right. when you have some dangerous return sure. men exactly back there. But Rice Bros are going. Holding on Stuttgart. Oh. Well, oh. now isn't that an interesting turn of events? Now they're marking it off against the Rice Birds. Well, then why were they asking us what, what we wanted to do with it? <laughs> I don't know. A little bit of, of confusion <laughs> by everybody on that one, but the Rice Birds will take the ball. And we'll have it at our own 24-yard line, 941 to go in the third quarter. Rice Birds with a 14-13 lead over the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. Kane Price, quarterback, back to pass, looking, firing across the middle. Got a man wide open at the midfield, 45-40, 35-30, 25-20. They are not going to catch Sparky Clark into the end zone. Touchdown, Rice Birds. 76 yards, and Liam, I'm telling you what, Clark had to go up and use all of his leaping ability to catch that ball, he went up and skied for it and brought it down right in the middle of the field, and, and it was a foot race at that point, and they were not going to catch him. The 76 Birds, yards. Yeah, the Rice Birds strike quickly after that punt and penalty, and they put it on the board in one play. How about that? Dawson McKelvey on to attempt his third PAT of the night. Hayden Prime will be the holder. It is a good snap, good hold. The kick is up. It looks good. And the left footer drills it through, and the Rice Birds stretch their lead 21-13 to 13 over the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. We're back with more Stuttgart Rice Bird football in 30 seconds. At Coker Hampton Drug Company and Gift Shop in Stuttgart, we offer pneumococcal, shingles, and other immunizations every day. We have a large selection of braces, wound care, bath safety and mobility products, including comfortable lift chairs, and a convenient drive through and a knowledgeable and friendly pharmacy staff. We also provide private consultations for our wide selection of incontinence products and a nurse-supervised ideal protein weight loss program. Whatever support you need, we have you covered at the Wellness Center at Coker Hampton Drug Company and Gift Shop, 218 South Main, in downtown Stuttgart. Welcome back to Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart, site of tonight's 2-4-A conference matchup between the Stuttgart Rice Birds and the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. Rice Birds with a 21-13 lead. Dawson McKelvey has it teed up, and he sails it right down the middle. It gets mishandled by the up man, but is fielded and returned back to about the 31, maybe 32-yard line, and that's where the Lone Oak Jackrabbits We'll have it on their second possession here of the second half. Kobe Barnett with the first rice bird down there to wrap up the Jackie Rabbit defender, along again with Cordero Barry. He is he's become a special team star here tonight in his first varsity action. Yeah, he really has been. Here come the Lone Oak Jackrabbits to the line of scrimmage. They've got it first down and 10 at their own 32 yard line. Two wide outs to the left, three to the right, empty backfield. Braden Allen, quarterback, back to pass, looks, fires out, and incomplete, getting a lot of pressure he was. in there from uh, Nikeel Bradley, also number 12 for the Rice Birds, Kamarion Pickett. Yeah, quite, quite a bit of pressure there, and Allen just did what he could just to get rid of that one. One of the few formations tonight where he has not had somebody in the backfield with him yep. as well. Right. He split five wide outs. And he didn't have any protection on no, that one. Rice Birds came boiling through there. Same formation, three wide outs to the left, two to the right, empty backfield. Braden Allen in shotgun formation. Back to pass, looking. He's going to air this one out long. And I'm telling you, this boy can throw it a country mile. He can. Good coverage by the Rice Birds. It falls incomplete and actually a little overthrown into the yeah. boundaries on the far sideline. So yeah. very quickly, third and 10 coming up, Brent. Yeah. Covers down there by uh, Conway and Clark, and they had the receiver bracketed pretty well, and the ball was ju just a little bit o overthrown, sailed out of bounds, and third down and 10 here. 9.08 left, still plenty of time left in this ball game, but the Riceburg defense has played well so far coming out of the halftime break. Birds with an eight to nothing, excuse me, with an eight point lead. Again, empty backfield, 
Five wide outs. Sends a man in motion. Going to pitch to him. Coming from the near side to the far side. Trying to turn the corner. And there is a whole bunch of maroon that he is running right into on that far side. Led by number 72, Dylan Duncan. Yeah, he just couldn't get to the corner that time. Uh, Demari McKinney uh, forced him back inside there. And there were several Ricebirds there. So, uh, so another three and out force, forced by the Ricebird defense. And they have... They have come to play here in the second half so far. And they look. Let's see what happens on this punt. It's been Fourth an adventure. Nine, a high snap back to the punter. But, boy, he goes and gets it. He gets another great punt off. It hits at the Ricebird 45. Takes a little sideways divot. Now it's kind of going to take a little bit of a jackrabbit roll out of bounds. Ricebirds will have it first down and 10 at their own 39-yard line with 8.28 to go in the third quarter. And the Rice Birds with a 21 to 13 lead. You know, the Rice Birds score 14 unanswered after they went down 13 to 7 there at, uh, late in the second quarter. And let's see if, what they can do here. Boy, if they could put some points on the board here, they would really put some pressure on that Lone Oak offense and beat yep. down two scores. Here come the Birds from the sideline to the line of scrimmage. Kane Price, the quarterback, looks like Jawan Terry lined up to his right. Wide outs on each side, slot on the right. Straight back to pass, looking, now being chased out of the pocket. Airs it out long down the middle. Sparky Clark is there and covered very nicely. Braden Allen, <clears throat> the quarterback for the Jackrabbits, playing center field back there. Yep. He, he reached up, got a hand on it. He's got a little height advantage there over Sparky. I like Sparky's ability to go up and get that, but... That was a good uh, jump ball there, Brent. Yeah, it was. Bra Brayden Allen made up some ground there late and just jumped up and uh, knocked it down. Second down and 10 for the Rice Birds from their own 39-yard line. 8.19 to go. Clock stop with the incompletion. Price takes. Hands off. Terry looking for a little room in the line. Dancing. Gets his... <laughs> gets his feet under him and turns it upfield. He's going to have a rice bird first down as he moves it across the midfield stripe into Jackrabbit territory. First and 10 rice birds from the Lone Oak 49. Fantastic run there by Terry. Just, just uh, being patient and following his, his blockers and looking for a hole. He picked up looking 12. Looking for that seam. He yep. sure was. First and 10. Price calling signals. Now looks up. Walks toward the side. Goes back, moves Braylon Tolliver from the right slot to the left slot. Now sends him wide out. Hand off, Juwan Terry. Juwan, once again, looking for a little seam, trying to turn the corner and does. Gets across the 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Can you believe it? What a run. Juwan Terry as he turned on the afterburners. 49 yards, and he, he, he put that stiff arm out right around the corner there. Knocked down one. Jackrabbit found the corner and ran by the rest of the Jackrabbit defense. 49 yards, and boy, the Ricebirds really have missed Jawan Terry for most of the season. He went out that first half of the Warren game, and boy, it's great to see him back here now as we as we close toward playoff time. A fantastic game tonight so far for Terry. Dawson McKelvey on again to attempt the PAT. Good snap, good hole, kick is up, and it looks perfect. And the Stuttgart Rice Birds have stretched their lead 28 to 13 over the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. We're back with more Stuttgart Rice Bird football on Country 97.3 FM. We're part of the EAB Sports Network, and we're back in 30 seconds. Time for an oil change? What about a new battery? Harry's Rapid Lube in Stuttgart has you covered. At Harry's Rapid Lube, they have GM Dexo certified oil along with quality pins oil, and they can change your air filter and windshield wipers and even replace your rundown battery with an interstate battery. You don't need an appointment. Just drive in. For quality service, for quality people, see Harry's Rapid Lube at 2208 South Timber in Stuttgart or phone 672-7200. Open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Welcome back to Mosley Stadium, where the Stuttgart Rice Birds have just extended their lead over the Lone Oak Jackrabbits, 28 to 13. Stuttgart Rice Bird football, powered by Petrus in Stuttgart, two locations, 19th and Main for Chevrolet and GMC, and out across from Max Prairie Wings, Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram, Petrus. 
they got your transportation needs on the Grand Prairie covered. And the Lone Oak Jackrabbits have the ball covered inside their own 30-yard line after Dawson McKelvey just drills it right down central off of one rabbit, and it's recovered by another one again back at their own 29-yard line. Dawson doing a good job keeping these kicks where they're really not returnable. You're right, yeah. You're, yeah, you know, he's real good on that sky kick toward the sideline there. You know, really uh, takes away about – um, half of the field there, and the Wrightsburg have been have been good tonight. After that first one, uh, getting down there in coverage. Here come the Jackrabbits. First down and ten. Just a little push pass out to the near sideline, turning the corner and getting out to the 35-yard line. Looks like a gain of about six on first down. It's number eight on the carry 18. was number 18. That is Marquez Jackson Jr. Carson Konechny on the stop for the Rice Birds. Second down and four coming up for Lone Oak from their own 36-yard line. 7.07 to go. Clock moving third quarter. Rice Birds with a 28-13 lead. Lone Oak sends two wide outs to the right, which is the short side of the field. Single back. Single back gets the handoff, and he's going to have a first down out to the 40-yard line. Move the sticks. Fresh set of downs for the Lone Oak Jackrabbits, I believe their first first down of the second half, Brent. Yes, it is. Two uh, three and outs on their first two possessions, but they pick up one here on the ground. 643 left in the third quarter. Here come the Rabbits from the near hash mark, moving from the left to the right. Dark purple pants, white jerseys and helmets, purple numbers. Quarterback Braden Allen trying to turn the corner on the left side. Hey, he's going to have a couple on the far side over there before the Rice Birds just really converge on him and bring him down. I see Dylan Duncan in that pile as well for the Rice Birds. The Rice Birds doing a, li a little better job here in, in the second half of uh, forcing them to run back inside. They're not letting the Jackrabbit backs get to the corner like they did so well in the first half. You know, and one of the points that you made in the first half too, Brent, fatigue. Fatigue, start, yeah. And it's warm night out as yep, well. Yeah, you're right. Two wide outs to the right. <laughs> Once again, the Rice Birds with the – Oh, that's got to be a that, flag. That is <laughs> illegal as he pitches it forward to a lineman. Let him – just let him run, guys. Let, let him yeah, run. that's exactly right. Somebody no need to hurt yourself. Hurt. Oh, yeah. And, <laughs> that's right. And we yeah, do have – we do have a Rice Bird down. We've got – there's players down all over the field. There the Rice Birds. Carson Connection is down, but he is now up. De, De, DeMar McKinney is a little slow to get up. And there's still one more Rice Bird down back. The offensive backfield, that is – Jake Hayes, and he looks like he has a shoulder maybe injured. You know, and Jake was one of those that shot through there like he yeah. came out of a cannon. He did. <clears throat> and how in the world he times that so perfectly. He, he, he does. But he, he has never been flagged for that being offside. I don't think yet. Maybe one time, but, I, yeah, and, yeah, and he's got a shoulder injury. He's kind of holding it low to the ground. That's, that's not a good sign. But let's hope that they can get it worked, the injury worked out there. But it's going to be – Illegal touching by the Jackrabbit lineman as Allen was just trying to get rid of it. Well, if they want to turn him into a fullback, he'd be a good one because he is hard to bring down. <laughs> hard to bring down. He's a load. I mean, he didn't go far. But <laughs> he didn't go far. But he but was hard to bring down. I think every rice bird on the field hit him. We've got a timeout. Lone Oak, let's take a quick 30-second timeout with them. You're listening to Stuttgart Rice Bird Football on Country 97.3 FM. We're part of the EAB Sports Network. Score big with the fastest internet in town from Rice Fiber. Our new 5-gig internet is a game changer. Stream, play, and work online with no penalty flags for buffering, lagging, or slow connection. Rice Fiber is your internet MVP, keeping all your devices connected all the time. 5 Get championship-level connection for your home with 5-gig internet. Because when it comes to online speed at Rice Fiber, Touchdown! we play to win. Welcome back to Stuttgart Rice Bird Football, powered by Petrus in Stuttgart. And don't forget, Petrus is a great source for tires and alignment as well. Either location, Petrus Auto Sales out across from Max Prairie Wings or Petrus Chevrolet GMC on 19th and Main Street. Regardless of the year, make, model, they can get you tires, and you'll be pleased with 
the price and the service. That's Petrus. And the Stuttgart Rice Birds are chasing the quarterback of the Lone Oak Jackrabbits, Braden Allen, as the snap goes past him. And the Rice Birds tackle him all the way back at the five yard line. Looks like they're going to mark it out to the eight, though, but it, it's going to be a loss of 21 on that play. Hobbling off is Tay Clark, number eight, and that looks like a cramp all yeah. the way. Still mm -hmm. very warm out here. Yep. DeMar McKinney jogging back onto the field now. I think he, he had a cramping situation also. They're back at the eight. And here is a punt and a flag penalty marker before the snap. They've got to get to the Stuttgart 49. So let's do a little quick math on that. That would be 51. That'd be 43 yards. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a punt just to get it out to the first down marker. And the Ricebird's guilty of an hmm. illegal substitution. Okay, it's going to give them five yards, but. Still going to be pretty back, pretty far back deep. The punter standing just inside the end zone. Sparky Clark standing at the Lone Oak 40. Another high snap back to the punter. And he kicks it away from <coughs> Clark. And it's going to bounce out of bounds at around the 30-yard line on the far side over yeah. there. So the Rice Birds are going to have outstanding field position. Yeah, this one's going to mark it at the 31. So great field position for the Rice Birds. 4.54 to go in the third quarter. Stuttgart with a 28 to 13 lead over the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. Ricebirds looking to go three and two in conference play. See uh, Jake Hayes walking around on the sidelines. He looked like he is no worse for wear as he, he uh, came off the field on that play just a couple plays ago, but he looks okay. That, that's good to see. Here come the Rice Birds <clears throat> from the 31 of Lone Oak. Price fakes to the back, now rolling, getting some pressure. Just rolling right. to his right, to fires go. it down towards the goal line, incomplete. Yeah. Looked like intended receiver as he disappears off into the distance was QT Johnson. Yeah, it was. I thought I thought Price had, had plenty of room there to run maybe for some yardage, but Kane always keeping, keeping his eyes downfield. He, he was going for the touchdown, just couldn't connect with Johnson. 4.46 to go, third quarter, clock stop with the incompletion. Rice Birds moving from the right to the left, <clears throat> which is the south to the north here at Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart. On a beautiful night, full moon overhead. Rain has held off. Just been a great evening. Little speed sweep coming to the near side, breaking one tackle, breaking another. Jawan Terry inside the 15-yard line. Move the sticks for the Rice Birds. What a great run by Juwan Terry. At 14 yards for Terry. And that's going to take him right up to the 100 yard mark. Boy, what, what a weapon to have back for the Rice Birds, Lynn. You know, and that's really a spot where the Rice Birds have just been lacking, you know, a lot this season in the running game. But boy, it looks like they're trying, trying to get it back on track here now late in the season. Everybody has been king so on Sparky. Yeah. This just gives you that one more dimension. You're right. Back to pass, looking, dumps it across the middle, and it's going to be picked off. And Kane is going to try, and he can't make the tackle, but Jawan Terry comes up and makes the tackle on the interception, I believe, was number eight, Gibson. No, that, that, that's number nine, who we don't have on our roster. Ah, and yes. I, I'm just taking the guess, Lynn. I believe that might be ninth, ninth grader Ryder Engel, who we saw last night I running the ball so much. Bet you are correct. It looks it, 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 it looks a lot like his body type there, and he had a carry in the first half too. I, I'm just going to assume that it's him, but yeah, he stepped right in front of that attempted screen pass and made a nice play, and they uh, thwarted the Rice Birds drive there. Gets second turnover of the night. Here come the Jackrabbits. Four wide outs to the left. A little late pitch, and the Rice Birds are absolutely going to hammer the ball carrier. Yeah. First back there for the Rice Birds was number 19, Landon Bryant. Well, Jay Hayes is the one that uh, blew up that play as he came flying in there and forced the pitch, and he had to pitch it over the top of Jake, and that took a little bit of time, and then there were two Rice Birds right on the top of Jackson. It's going to be a loss of four. And great to see Jake back out there, too, by yes, the way. Yes, absolutely. Landon. All right. The quarterback, Braden Allen, is going to – actually, that's a lateral. lateral it is. That's going to be a running play to Jackson. 
He's going to run a long ways, but he's only going to gain about three yards out of it. It's going to bring, going, yeah, what, third and 12? Yeah, Brent? third and 12 here, 330, 329 left in the third quarter, and a, another third and long here for the Jackrabbits. Ball just shy of the Lone Oak 40-yard line. Rice Bird defense digs in, tries to keep this last turnover from hurting them here. Four wide outs to the right. Working from the far hash mark, the quarterback, Braden Allen, right up the middle and not much there. It's going to bring up fourth down and long, fourth and about seven, yeah, he's fourth gonna, and eight coming yeah, up he's now. Gonna, yeah, he's going to pick up about four right up the middle. Well, that's it. But a big fourth down coming up now for the Lone Oak Jackrabbits, 309. Clock moving here in the third quarter. Stuttgart with a 28 to 13 lead over Lone Oak. Lone Oaks still yeah. not sending the punting team out. They're not. Allen kind of kind of trying to stretch out his, his uh, calf there. As, as you mentioned, it's still a warm night here in late October, and, and we've seen a few cramping issues tonight. Here come the Jackrabbits. Four wide outs. Three to the right, one to the left. Airing it out. And knocked down. Knocked Whoa, down. What, what, yeah, what a play there by Carson Conditioning, Lynn. Number three uh, was out here in the flat. Tanner Starks would have had a first down, but boy, Carson Conditioning knocked it down right at the last minute and forced a turnover on downs. He kind of hobbles off and sets down on the bench here on the near side, hoping possibly that's just a cramp. Cramping. We're beginning to see here in the second half yeah. a little bit of cramping. They get him some fluids. And hope he'll be okay. <clears throat> Here come the Rice Birds as they take over on downs. First down and 10 from the Jackrabbit 44-yard line. Birds shift three players from the right to the left. Kane Price takes hands off back in the backfield, looking for a little seam. Breaks through the line inside the 40 down to the 38-yard line. Uh, Jawan Terry again on the carry. He's going to have seven on first down. 2.21 to go, third quarter. Rice Birds with the ball and the lead, 28 to 13. Ross Atkinson split wide to the left. QT Johnson split wide to the right. Two backs in the backfield, one on each side of Kane Price, the quarterback. Takes late pitch. Sparky Clark trying to get the corner and to get him wrapped up now. He comes back, and we've got a penalty marker down. He's coming all the way back to the near flag. side of the field, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds at about the 30. But I think there's going to be a hold and then maybe a block in the back or a blindside block here when Sparky reverse field. You know, that that's tough. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know when they reverse field like that, you get a blindside block quite often on that play. So it's going to be two penalties on the – the Rice Birds, and I believe the blindside block is 15, if I'm not mistaken. So if if that is the call and not a block in the back, that would be the one that they will take probably. Number three, Tanner Starks for Lone Oak, hobbling off on the far sideline over there. Holding. And that's declined, and they will take the block in the back. Okay, well, I think that's better than the blindside block, penalty-wise. Yes, yes. So the Birds will replay second down. It's exactly where it's going to be after the markoff. They're starting it from the 44 of Lone Oak. Well, they're going, I think they're go. going to back it up yeah, to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, we're going to start out the line of scrimmage. Okay. The line of scrimmage was at the 30, 37 and a half. It should be about back to the 48. Yeah, 40. Yeah, that's where they set yep. it down. 47 and a half, so it's going to be second down and 13 for the Birds. 146 left in the third quarter. One more touchdown on that board would look just lovely here in, in the third quarter. Ball just outside the big maroon and white S with the Rice Bird script that's in the center of the field here. Beautiful green field turf field here at Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart. Here come the Rice Birds. 
on second down and long 13. Kane Price takes the snap, rolling to his right, looks, he fires, got a man complete, QT Johnson. Was he in Browns? Yes, yes. he was. That's going to be Back at the 37-yard line, what a nice catch right on the sideline by QT. Well, it's going to be a gain of 10 as, as QT had to, had to go up the ladder a little bit for that one, but, boy, he kept his feet in bounds. And it's third down now and three. Kane Price tonight, Lynn, has just crossed the 300-yard mark passing. Wow. Minute 39 to go in the third quarter. Birds up 28 to 13 with the ball, moving from the right to the left, from the south to the north. Dressed in all maroon. Back to pass, airing it out long. He's got a man complete on the far side. He dives toward the end zone. Oh, no, we'll they say him down he's at down the, at the one. Mark him down at the one. I'm not so sure about that. I, his knee was down there, but I think he probably had the ball across the goal line. But Clutch. Ross Atkinson on the reception. He has got the fantastic hands this, this entire season, Lynn. If you get the yep. ball close to him, he's going to haul it in. Bird set up, first down, goal to go from the Lone Oak one. A minute 25 to go, third quarter. Birds looking to add to their lead. Price takes, hands off, into the line, leaping into the end zone, touchdown, Rice Birds. Jawan Terry takes it the final yard over the left side. He picks up his second touchdown rushing on the night. Jawan Terry now with 10 carries. 108 yards on the ground and two touchdowns. The Rice Birds have a 34 to 13 lead with 113 left in the third. Dawson McKelvey on for the PAT. Left foot soccer style kicker with the bright shoes. He is not hard to see on the field. Puts his foot into it. It is up and it is good. And the Stuttgart Rice Birds stretch their lead 35 13 over the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. We're back with more Stuttgart Rice Bird football on Country 97.3 FM. We're part of the EAB Sports Network. We're back in 30 seconds. No appointment? No problem. If you need medical care right away, visit Urgent Care of Stuttgart, where you can walk in without an appointment and get help without a long wait for a wide variety of illnesses and injuries, from stitches and broken bones to allergies and colds. Urgent Care of Stuttgart is conveniently located at 22nd and Park Avenue. Clinic hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more, visit facebook.com forward slash Urgent Care Stuttgart or call 870-672-0911. Urgent Care of Stuttgart at 22nd and Park Avenue. Get sick, get seen today. Welcome back to Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart, where the Stuttgart Rice Birds have just stretched their lead over the Lone Oak Jackrabbits 35 to 13, setting off another wave of the great fireworks in the south end zone. Dawson McKelvey, just a line shot. It's going to be fielded at the 35, coming to the near side, 40, 45, and out at midfield. Boy, I'm telling you what, that was shot like a cannon. Right to number five, Luke Isbell. We have a uh, yeah, and keep on keep on Conway slow to get up now. And let's see. Hopefully, nothing more than than possibly a cramp. I'm not sure. It looked like yeah, it does, it does look like a leg injury there. They are g getting him up now and helping him off, and I would definitely keep my eye on that. All right, Spurs can't afford to lose anybody, especially don't want to lose Kevon Conway. He he does a lot on offense, a lot on defense, sometimes on special teams. Number two, the 11th grader. 105 left. The Rice Birds now with a 35 to 13 lead. Rice Birds defense has played well this entire second half after a somewhat sluggish first half. Jack Rabbits have it right at midfield. Braden Allen, quarterback, back to pass, got a man open, and it is complete inside the Rice Bird 25 yard line, defending for the Rice Birds, number 18, Julius Gaither. But that pass was right on the money. Sure was, it. And, and he was wide open as well. That was number 10. That's Denham Gooden. Kind of a missed coverage there by the Rice Birds. And Luckily, the safety got over there in time to 
knock him out of bounds. Gain of 28 on that play. First down and 10, handoff into the line. Rice Bird defense converges right at the 20 yard line. Knock bring down the ball, kid. Yeah, knock you Bradley right there to bring him down. Gain of three on the play. 40 seconds, clock moving, third quarter. Rice Bird's up 35 13. Want to mention again, fireworks tonight in memory of Marion McCullum and sponsored by Max Prairie Wings. Marion, of course, was. On the 1960s Rice Bird football team, he was number 12. And tonight's fireworks after all the touchdowns in memory of our good buddy, Marion. Braden Allen, quarterback, fires toward the end zone. Nobody home, way overthrown. And Rice Birds with some good coverage and another Rice Bird cramping here on the near sideline. Yeah, that's uh, Landon Bryant, it looks like. Keep on Conway's being being attended to. I don't believe that's a cramp. I don't know if maybe he turned his ankle or he, he's got his shoe off down there. But Tay Clark, I mean, uh, Landon Bryant, definitely a uh, cramping issue as they have him stretched out now on the field and working on his, his leg. Third and eight from the Stuttgart 20-yard line. Here come the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. Braden Allen's the quarterback, has one back standing to his right. Takes a snap, back to pass, looking, and it's tipped right at the line of scrimmage, falling incomplete. And it's going to bring up now fourth down and eight for the Jackrabbits. Yeah, Allen just barely getting rid of that, and then it was tipped, and it falls incomplete right in the middle of the field. It's going to bring up another fourth down for Lone Oak. Four seconds left in the third quarter, a third quarter that's been dominated by the Rice Birds. Absolutely. Birds putting three touchdowns on the board after leading 14 to 13 at the half. Birds have stretched that out with three scores and lead 35 to 13. Here come the Lone Oak Jackrabbits on fourth down and eight from the Rice Bird 20. Empty backfield, quarterback back to pass, fires across the middle. He's got a man complete at the five, sidesteps defender into the end zone, touchdown. That's 21 yards to number two, Jaden Mays. And he was open right down the middle of the field. A good pass from Braden Allen. And then Mays slipped a couple tackles and made it to the end zone for the third Lone Oak touchdown of the night. On the last play of the third quarter, Jaden Mays from Brandon Allen, 21 yards. And these Jackrabbits are not going to go quietly tonight. They will go for two. And, and the quarterback's go. going to be behind center. And a whistle before the snap. And watch for some, probably some unusual formations. We saw that last night, Brent. We did. In the junior high game, Coach Price said uh, it's all over their playbook, those unusual formations. Rice Bird's lead has been cut 35 to 19 with the PAT to come. And it is going to be a successful two point conversion. Number and number 10, did him good on kind of the end around. And he made it just far enough across the line. And it, it will be. A two-point conversion, 35 to 21 as we end the third quarter here. And that was Denham Goodham? Yes, it was, number 10. And we're going to have to flip the field here now. And that's it for three quarters of action. Stuttgart Rice Birds lead the Lone Oak Jackrabbits 35-21 as we get set for the fourth quarter. And we'll bring that to you in 30 seconds. Today comes only once. It is a day of opportunity. What is done with this day will play a big part in determining the future. I am Renata Jenkins Baller with Roller Funeral Homes. That is a pretty bold statement, but a true one nevertheless, because every day is filled with opportunities taken or missed. At Roller Funeral Homes, we look at each day as an opportunity to prove ourselves worthy of the trust that you have put in us for so many years. Roller Funeral Homes, with all our respect. And we welcome you to the fourth quarter of action from Ned Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart where the Stuttgart Ricebirds lead the Lone Oak Jackrabbits 35 to 21. Lone Oak 
kicks off, and this one is going to be fielded by the Rice Birds at the 24-yard line, back across the 30, and up to the 35. That was Kevon Conway. Glad to see him back out there. Yeah, he was uh, nursing a little injury there on the sideline yep. a few minutes ago, but he's back and looks good and thankful for that. Here come the Rice Birds now. First down and 10 from their own 35-yard line. Just underway in the fourth quarter. Rice Birds with the 14 point lead, 35 to 21. Kane Price takes, hands off Juwan Terry, looking for some room around the left side, turns the corner, and does find a little bit of room as he gets out across the 40, out to the 43 yard line. Looks like a gain of about seven, Brent. It is a, a, a gain of seven. And, and you know, when I saw that Terry was. Back in action tonight, I wondered if he was kind of be eased into action. No. That is not the case tonight. <laughs> well, luckily, though, for him, it wasn't a leg injury. That's correct. You know, just a exactly. hand injury. And, exactly. Yeah, and, and he has played fantastic tonight. Here come the birds, moving from the left to the right, dressed in all maroon with white trim. Hand off Juwan Terry into the line, looking for a little seam, and he's going to have a rice bird first down. He's going to have about four yards Moves the ball out to the 47 on the Rice Bird side of midfield with 11-11 to go here in the ball game. Rice Birds with a fresh set of downs. As we talked about so much, Lynn, uh, fatigue for the Jack Rabbits here. Low numbers on their team. A lot of guys going both ways here. And let's see if the Rice Birds can just kind of punch it downfield now. Kane Price now stands up, looks to the sideline. He's got wide outs on each side. Got a slot on the left. Single back standing to his left. Hands to the back. Back is using his blockers and gets out to the midfield stripe. Juwan Terry on the carry. Right in the middle of the big maroon and white S in the center of the field here at Mosley Stadium. Two yards on that carry. 13 carries. 121 yards for Juwan Terry, the sophomore. In his first game back in action from injury. He's going to be a he's going to be a fun player to watch here for the rest of this season and the next two years for sure. Kane Price takes a snap, back to pass, looking, looking. He's going to air it out long. He's got Sparky mm -hmm. Clark, and it is going to be intercepted a flag, on a though. tip. But we do have pass yep. interference coming up here. Flag thrown at the 15-yard line. <clears throat> yep. Braden Allen, the quarterback, is also the the D back against Clark. And they both went up for it together, tipped the ball back up into the air right to Allen. But let's see. Yeah, it's pass marker. interference. It's yes. going to be pass interference against Lone Oak. I think, I think if Kane would have led Sparky a little bit more toward the, toward the uh, sideline there, Allen might not have been able to run it down. But he's a little bit gimpy now as he might have a cramping issue as well now you're gonna have to he makes his way to the yeah, sideline now the official's going to mark it off it'll be a first down for the birds they're going to mark it at the lone oak 36 and even 10 minutes left to go here the birds with a 14 point lead 35 21. Uh, you Ju want terry braylon tolliver back in the backfield tolliver in that blocking Slot spot. Back to pass. A little pump fake. Here's out. It's got a man wide open. It's a 10 to 5. Touchdown, Rice Birds. Oh, my. Sparky Clark on the little out and up pattern. They are uh, taking advantage, Lynn, of uh, Brayden Allen being out of the game there from his um, uh, safety spot. 35 yards. Clark faked the out pattern, cut it up, and the D-back bit, and he was wide open, and Price just laid it right out there to him. So the Rice Birds strike back quickly after Lone Oak cuts it to a 14-point game. 35 yards, Price to Clark, 41-21, Rice Birds. Dawson McKelvey on to attempt the extra point out of the hold of Hayden Prine and the snap of Ross Atkinson. High snap, good hold. The kick is up, and it is perfect. And the Stuttgart Rice Birds have doubled up the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. They lead 42 to 21. We're back with more Stuttgart Rice Bird football in 30 seconds. 
Vehicles are expensive, so protect your investment at Stuttgart Tire Service. 1111 South Park Avenue in Stuttgart. Tires, flats, batteries, balancing, alignment, and more. They offer top quality service you can count on. Stuttgart Tire offers roadside assistance for vehicles of all sizes, including agricultural equipment, and their top-of-the-line alignment machine can handle up to one tons and duallys. They carry Bridgestone, Firestone, and Mastercraft. Brands you can trust and tires to fit your budget with snap financing available. Stuttgart Tire Service at 1111 South Park Avenue in Stuttgart, 870 Six seven three zero one eleven. Welcome back to Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart for Stuttgart Ricebird football, powered by Petrus in Stuttgart. Two locations for Chevrolet and GMC. You can see them down on Nineteenth and Main Street, and out across from Max Prairie Wings, it's Petrus Auto Sales for Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Be sure and check out the great inventory of pre-owned as well. Great financing available. For everything new and used, you just got to go see them. That's Petrus powering tonight's Rice Bird broadcast. Boy, what a great kick by Dawson McKelvey as it takes two huge bounces. It's going to be fielded at the 25, back across the 30, still on his feet, out across the 40, and out of bounds on the far sideline. Boy, that, <laughs> that kick, it was just a hard line drive, but when it dug into the turf, boy, it launched. Hard to handle, but was handled by the low note Jackrabbits and returned. Really a nice gain on it the was. return. Out to the 44-yard line. That's where the Rabbits will have it. First down and 10. 9.41 to go here in the fourth quarter. Hey, Ricebird fans, a little bonus coverage after the game tonight. Our live stream will stay live, and we're going to show the band's performance here after the game tonight. Of course, halftime was used up with the senior presentations, which is always good, but this will give uh, our Ricebird marching band fans an opportunity to see them perform one more time before they head off to the state competition on Monday. Hang around after tonight's football game. Our live stream will stay live and show you the Ricebird marching band's performance. Second down and six coming up for the Lone Oak Jackrabbits from their own 48-yard line. The Rabbits, white helmets and jerseys, dark purple pants, rice birds and all maroon. Lone Oak sends the man in motion out of the backfield. The quarterback just takes a snap, keeps it himself, and the midfield stripe is about as far as he's going to go. Now we got a yellow flag come sailing into the pile well after the play. It was a late flag from the, from the head, head official. The white he hat. saw something or heard something that wasn't agreeable. So let's see. It is going to be a dead ball dead foul, ball. personal foul against Stuttgart. And so that's a 15-yarder that will be it marked is. off from midfield. So that will put Lone Oak in great shape at the Ricebird 35-yard line. Yep, yep. Now we didn't see it up here, but Coach Price saw it because he was motioning Motioning to somebody like, what are you doing out there? 8.55 left in the game. First down and 10 for Lone Oak. Birds with a three touchdown lead. Lone Oak with the ball. Good field position at the Rice Bird 36 yard line. Previous play obviously was a little shy of midfield. I thought they marked him at midfield, but Marked it at the 49, so after the penalty, it's the 36-yard line. Ball's on the far hash mark. The Rabbits moving from the right to the left. Quarterback just that little push pass out to the near sideline, trying to get the corner and sees the freight train coming, and he just derails and goes out of bounds before he takes some punishment by, by the Rice Birds. Number 12, Kamarion Pickett. Yeah, he ran a long ways that time for a gain of only two. That was Marquez Jackson, his 14th carry of the night, 83 yards. He, he does have a touchdown. Balls on the near hash mark. Rabbits moving from our right to our left. Headed toward the concession stand area here at Mosley Stadium. Quarterback Braden Allen takes hands off and the Rice Birds are there. Showed that blitz again, yep. Brent. Didn't quite get the penetration that they've gotten on a couple of the previous ones, but guess who's getting up the ball off the bottom of the pile? There's J.K. Yeah, J.K.'s again. J.K.'s now killed Bradley Tank, who had right up there in the middle of the line. There's no gain on that play. 
Third down and eight coming up now for Lone Oak from the Stuttgart 34-yard line. Clock rolls under eight minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Lone Oak Jackrabbits with three wide outs to the right, which is the wide side of the field. Empty backfield. Quarterback takes a snap, rolls, fires, and incomplete. Good coverage out there by the Rice Birds. I believe Keaton Byers in the secondary providing the coverage back there. Keaton, one of the ninth graders that moved up. Yeah. Good to see him out there. You bet. He was number two in junior high. He's number 22 out here tonight. Fourth down now and eight coming up for Lone Oak from the Stuttgart 34-yard line. 7.36 to go. Clock stopped with that incompletion. Empty backfield. Braden Allen's the quarterback. He sends two wide outs to the right, three to the left. Takes a snap, going to air it out long. He's got a man over the center and just overthrows, but they're going to throw a flag and call pass interference on the Rice Birds. Maybe a little jersey tug there. Yeah, that was that that was that could have definitely been a no call. A no there. call. Yeah, but I, I believe Johnson just barely got a hand on the back of the intended receiver. I think that was good, and but. He saw the hand extend out there, yeah. and, and that's going to draw a flag a lot a lot of the time. And that's going to give them a first down. Moves the ball to the 19-yard line, first down and 10 now for the Jackrabbits. Seven and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Rice Birds with a win would go to three and two in conference with one game remaining. That coming up this coming Thursday at Ball Knob. Here comes Lone Oak. Three wide outs to the right, two to the left. Empty backfield. Allen, again, fires across the middle. Got a man, complete sidesteps the defender. Breaks another tackle, dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Lone Oak. Nice play by the receiver after he caught the ball. Ricebird secondary a little bit lax in the middle for the second time tonight, and Lone Oak capitalizes. That's going to be number 10, Denham Gooden, who we talked about some in the pregame, but he did, he he only has two catches on the night, both here in the, in the second half. But that was good for 19 yards and a Lone Oak touchdown. Boat right on to attempt the PAT. Good snap, good hold, and it looks good, and it is. And the Lone Oak Jackrabbits have cut the Rice Bird lead, 42 to 28. We're back with more Stuttgart Rice Bird football in 30 seconds. Not all gifts come from the North Pole. This year, Santa's getting all his John Deere gifts from Greenway because they make it easy to shop online, ship to your door, or pick up in store. From apparel to toys to tools to tractors, Greenway has something for everyone on the nice list. Hey, stop elfing around. Christmas is coming fast. You can get something for everyone on your list in stores or online at gogreenway.com. Welcome back to Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart, where the Lone Oak Jackrabbits have just scored to cut the Rice Bird lead to 42 to 28. I'm Lynn Keller sitting alongside Brent Whitman. Lone Oak set to kick off. Three step kicker is just going to sail it right down the middle. It's going to be fielded nicely by the Rice Birds. Number 65 is Avery Robnett. Yeah, he went down and cradled it and sure hands there. Good job by Avery, and the Rice Birds will have it at the 43. Yard line, 719 left to go in the game, 42 to 28. Every time the Rice Birds score here, the Jackrabbits have uh, ha have answered here on, on the last two touchdowns. So the Rice Birds are, are going to have to keep the foot on the gas here and try to punch it in again. Absolutely. Here come the Birds, first down and 10 from their own 43-yard line. Wide outs on each side, slot on the right. Kane Price, the quarterback, takes hands off. Coming to the near side, looks like Jawan Terry in the backfield is going to get out to the 45-yard line. A gain of a couple on the play. Second down and eight coming up for the Birds. 14 carries, 123 yards for Terry as we roll near seven minutes left in this ball game. If the Rice Birds can grind out some first downs here on the ground, that would keep that clock rolling here. 
And here come the birds as they break the huddle, hustle to the line. Two wide outs to the left. That's Sparky Clark and QT Johnson for the Rice Birds. Kane Price, the quarterback. Let Blake signal. Clock wind down. Takes hands off. Juwan Terry using his blockers. Got his hand down in front of him. He breaks into the secondary. He's breaking the tackle. He's still on his feet inside the 30. Juwan Terry just doesn't want to go down. Oh, he does not want to run there. The, as once again, Terry was patient there, ju just waiting on that seam. And, and when he found it, he accelerated through the line and then carried a, a couple of jackrabbits for an extra 10 yards. All the way down to the 27-yard line, 6.15 to go. Clock moving fourth quarter. Rice Birds in business. They are. Juwan Terry having a fantastic game. He's in running for player of the game tonight. No doubt about that. Sparky Clark split wide to the left. QT Johnson split to the left as well. Juwan Terry lines up to the right of the quarterback. Kane Price, shotgun formation. Takes a snap, hands off. Terry, a little seam over the right side, and he is, gets across the 25, down to the 23-yard line, a gain of about four. Brings up second down and six now for the Rice Birds. A nice block on the edge by, by, by the ninth grader, Braylon Tolliver. He really, he really pancaked his man there, and Terry cut in right behind it for a gain of four. Second and six, balls in the center of the field. Here in the fourth quarter, birds moving from the north to the south, the left to the right on your radio dial. Two wide outs to the right, slot on the left. Takes hands off, excuse me, fakes to Terry, keeps it. No, he, yeah, he, yeah, he kept, he it, kept it himself. It. He, kept he did it. a nice job faking me out. Yeah, he, yeah. I, I thought, well, he handed it up front. And I thought he did too. Then he kept it, but he did keep it around the left side and picks up a rice bird first down. Yep. In but our he, defense, Brent, he was running away from right, us, so right, we, we couldn't right. see. But he did the smart <laughs> thing there. Once he picked up the first down, he slid and stayed in bounds yes. to, keep, to keep that clock rolling. Exactly. That's smart playing yeah. there. Which that's Balls what, on, excuse me, Brent. Yeah, which, which uh, that type of ball playing is what you would think from a coach's son. Exactly. Four and a half minutes to go in this one. Birds up 42-28. Balls on the far hash mark. First down and 10 for the Rice Birds. Price takes, hands off, Terry into the line. Breaking tackles inside the 10 all the way down to the 7 or 8-yard line. Let's see where they mark it. Going to be a little short of a first down. A gain of 9. Yep, going to bring up second down and a long one and coming up for the Rice Birds. Jake Hayes and Tank Hood coming in now, and Braylon Tolliver checks out. So the Rice Birds are going to go with a... a a little power package here, I would think. Exactly. Third down and one. From the far hash mark, birds break the huddle to the line. They do have that power package that Brent mentioned on the left side. Stacked behind the line. Takes hands off. Terry looking for that room and a penalty marker comes in. Let's see what this is all about. Thrown by the official on the far side, and he's calling an illegal procedure, procedure. against the Rice Birds. Hmm. So the birds will go from second and one to second and six with three minutes and 30 seconds to go. Peyton Thompson out there kind of <coughs> kind of slow moving now. He's got a little bit of a limp, but he's see if he's going to stay in the game or not. Yeah, yeah, he's going to come out, I think. Dylan, well, no, he's not. He's going to stay in there. Dylan Duncan was all set to go in, but he waved him away, so he's going to stay in the game. He's going to bring up second down and about six now. Clock stop with a penalty. Official should start it here. Three and a half minutes to go in this one. want to remind you to hang around after the football game is over as we will have special bonus coverage. We'll have... We will live stream the Rice Bird Marching Band's performance. Juwan Terry handoff, fumbles it, picks it back up. Going to be a loss of about three back to the 17-yard line. So the Rice Birds with a penalty and now a loss going to set them back up where they were second and one at one time, Brent. Now they're third and 11. Yep, third down and <laughs> third down and 11. And, and I would suspect if the Rice person don't pick up the first down here, we might see a field goal to 10. We could very well see Dawson McKelvey. Good time to work on that. You yeah. bet. You bet. 
late in the game. Riceburg with a 14-point lead. The clock rolling down now at 2.53. I think the Riceburg's going to let it run down and call timeout. Coach Price down by the official on the sideline here on the near side. And there it is, timeout Stuttgart. So let's take a quick 30-second timeout with them. You're listening to Stuttgart Rice Bird Football on Country 97.3 FM. We're part of the EAB Sports Network. Pico Foods says good luck to all the players, coaches, cheerleaders, and marching bands taking the field tonight. Under the lights, it's not about who's in your path, it's about who's in your huddle. And Pico Foods is a proud teammate and supporter of local communities and the state's agricultural producers. Learn more about how Pico Foods buys direct to support local producers. In Arkansas and Missouri, call David Durham or James Chester, 870-202-7101. In Alabama and Mississippi, call Andrew Parker or John Taylor Hickman at 601-670-9383. Welcome back to Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart, where the Stuttgart Ricebirds are coming out of a timeout. 2.38 to go here in the fourth quarter. They lead 42 to 28. Ricebirds looking at a third down and 11 from the Lone Oak 17 yard line. Ricebirds send two wide outs to the left, two to the right, single back standing to the left of the quarterback. Kane Price calling signals now moves Juwan Terry to the right side. Takes a snap, and he rolls to his right. Looking, 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 getting some pressure, firing toward the end zone. Got a man complete. Oh, he dropped it. Number 16, oh, sure did. Hayden Prine had a touchdown. Brent, I thought for all the world he'd hauled it in, but just uh, couldn't hang on to it. But we've got a penalty marker back at the 23-yard line. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. Well, as the, yeah, you're right. As the, uh, well, that, well, but that was third down, right? Yes, that was third that down, was but and they're going to decline, decline the penalty. Okay, and, and, and give us a field goal attempt as opposed to taking the penalty and backing us up. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's the way I'm seeing it, yeah. but anyway. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the Birch could have had third down and 20, but instead it's fourth down and 11. And the ball will be placed at the 24-yard line. This will be a 34-yard attempt for Dawson McKelvey off of the far hash. Ross Atkinson is the snapper. Hayden Prine is the holder. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, plenty of distance, and it is good! Dawson McKelvey drills it from 34 yards out, and the Birds stretch their lead 45-28. to 28 as the fireworks go off in the south end zone. Oh, my, Dawson. Boy, he put a good pretty foot in that one, didn't he, Brent? Yeah, Lyndon, you said it. He drilled it right down the middle. What a what a fantastic <clears throat> kick there. And I wonder if Coach Norton might be um, rethinking that, uh, penalty, that penalty that he didn't take there. Maybe, maybe he didn't think that the Ricebirds had that field goal in them, but, boy, a uh, big three points here as the Ricebirds now go up three scores, up 17 with 2.25 left. Dawson McKelvey puts the Ricebirds up by 17. What a weapon to have, Lynn, as you go into playoff time. And boy, you never know. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you never know when you just may need that three points to win the game. And, boy, to have a, have a reliable weapon like that. That is a good thing to have in your pocket. You know, and it's it, it, there's really more to it than that. You got the great snap of Ross yes. Atkinson. You got the great hold of Hayden Prine. And you got a line that, that's keeping them out. So, yeah, no doubt. Here is McKelvey's kick. It's going to be fielded at about the 25. And off to the races. Can Carson can nope. catch him? I don't think so. This is going to be a lone oak touchdown. Going to take it to the house. 75-yard kick return for a touchdown. Wow. This game just will not end. We should have 210 left. And I'm sure Lono could probably line up and go for two here to try to cut it back to a 10-point lead. Was that number 10 on, on the return? I think it was 18. 18. Yeah, okay. It was 18. Marquez Jackson, yes. Yep. Lono could just will not go away here. Riceburg defense held them pretty good in the third quarter, but they are putting some points on the board here in the fourth quarter. And that's where that big big field goal comes into play there. Kick is up. It's a low kick off to the side, and it's no good. No good. Extra point is no and good. There's a late flag comes in. 
Let's well after it, the play. Let's hold it right here and see what is going on with that. Let's see, it's going to be personal foul. Ruff, roughing the kicker. So that will give Lone Oak an opportunity here, probably to line up and go for two. Yep. Well, you could cut it. Uh, you could cut it to nine, but if you kick it, you cut it to ten. And if you don't make the two, then it's then it's an eleven-point game. I think I would. I think I might kick it if I was them, but it looks like they're going to go for two. Lone Oak's going to have it at the one and a half yard line after the personal foul, roughing the kicker penalty. Quarterback is behind center, Braden Allen. Everybody is in tight. Takes a snap, hands off into the line, and no uh, signal yet. I think so. No signal yet. No uh, signal. No, no signal. No, it is no good. Yeah. From a yard and a half out, the Rice Bird defense holds and keeps the two-point conversion from being successful. Rice Bird's lead, 45-34. We're back with more Stuttgart Rice Bird football in 30 seconds. Hi, this is Jennifer Smith from Wilkerson Jewelers. The real value in any jewelry is the sentimental connection that you have to the pieces you own. The beautiful earrings your grandparents gave you when you graduated. The amazing engagement ring your fiance surprised you with. The watch your company presented you with when you retired from your job. For over 50 years, Wilkerson's has been a part of those special moments. And we love that we get to be a small part of some of the most important experiences of your lives. No matter what your budget, come in to shop or check us out online at WilkersonJewelers.com. Easy financing and layaway are available at Wilkerson's and jewelers in beautiful downtown Stuttgart. We want to build memories with you. Welcome back to Stuttgart Rice Bird Football, powered by Petrus in Stuttgart with their two locations, Chevrolet and GMC dealership on 19th and Main. And out across from Max Prairie Wings at 2350 Highway 63 North, you'll find Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. And at both locations, you'll find great service and friendly folks to take care of you. Petrus powering tonight's Rice Bird football. Lone Oak has scored on a kick return after the Rice Birds field goal was good. They kicked off and it was returned for a touchdown 75 yards by Marquez Jackson. Two point conversion attempt was no good, but we set with 2:10 to go 45 34 game. Lone Oak, out of bounds. Lone Oak yep. kicks it uh, attempts an onside kick and it is going out of bounds untouched. Didn't make it to 10 yards. Nope. So the Rice Birds can take it <clears throat> at the point where it goes out of bounds, which will be on Lone Oak's side of the midfield stripe. Yeah, and I'm not real sure that I would have gone for two there had I been the Lone Oak coach because you don't make it like they did, and now you're down 11, which is a touchdown, a two-point conversion, conversion, and, and a field, field goal, goal just to tie, whereas, you know, you kick it and you're down 10. Right. And you're down, you know, a touchdown and a field goal. But – if you don't get the onside kick, it might not matter anyway, but still, I don't, I don't think I would have done that. I think I would have kicked it. Here come the Rice Birds looking to eat some clock. No doubt about it. I think we're going to see Jawan Terry here and Braylon Tolliver in there in that blocking position in I'd, the slot. I'd be okay with a late touchdown here. I would be too. <laughs> Jawan Terry's going to get a chance as he takes it right up into the middle. He's going to have about – Three, oh, well, let's say almost four yards yeah, we'll give him three. on first down. They set it right at the 40-yard line. Second down and seven coming up for the Rice Birds. Minute 50 to go here in this game. Want to remind you again, when the ball game is over, Rice Bird fans, keep the live stream going as we'll have a performance by the band. They weren't able to perform at halftime because of the senior recognition activity, so they're going to perform after the ball game, and we're going to keep it right here so everybody can enjoy the Rice Bird Marching Band. Second down, seven. Handoff again into the line. Juwan Terry this time runs into big number 75, Charles Hunter, and Charles puts a halt, and Lone Oak's going to call timeout with a minute 19 to go. Third, yep, third down and a long four here. I believe if I'm Coach Price, I put the ball in the air. Try to try to end it. Exactly. 
You got Brayden Allen out there. <clears throat> He's uh, covering Clark, but he is a little bit gimpy. I, he, he I, believe, I believe Clark could run right by him. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. He's been out there stretching out his legs and yep. moving around gingerly now. And Even in the huddle on the side yep. over there, you can tell he is he has physically got some issues going on there. Yep. So I, I agree with that completely. I think I would let Sparky just run straight down the field, just turn on the speed and see if he can run with him. I don't think he could. It's going to be third down and yeah, five for the Rice Birds. 119 left. But, ball. yeah, the, the ball is at the 38, but Coach Price just may run it and for, force Lono to call another timeout if we don't get it. Let's see. Two wide outs to the left. Slot on the left, single back in the backfield. Terry fakes to Terry, rolling to his left, looking. Now sidesteps the defender, throws QT Johnson incomplete down at the five-yard line. Looked like from our vantage point he was right on the money, but it falls incomplete, and it's going to bring up now fourth down and five with a minute 11 to go, and the Rice Birds. It might just have been – one step too far there for QT as um, he, was, he was running full steam there toward the pylon and got his arms out and just unable to come up with it. Here come the birds. Fourth down and five from the Lone Oak 38-yard line. It, it could be time for number 13 there. Ross Atkinson could just leak out from this tight end spot. Rice Birds take a timeout. Birds are going to take a timeout, so let's take another quick 30-second timeout with them. You're listening to Stuttgart Rice Bird Football on Country 97.3 FM. We're part of the EAB Sports Network. Hi, this is Carrie Seaman with the Katie Shack. I'm excited to tell you about the incredible holistic healing options at the Katie Shack. We've expanded our services to create a complete holistic healing practice all in one place. At the Katie Shack, we've teamed up with Dr. Travis Wiley, a chiropractor and nutritional expert who specializes in addressing the root causes of today's health issues. Dr. Wiley uses cutting edge techniques and a natural approach to tackle health problems and chronic illnesses. But that's not all. Our dedicated team offers a wide range of services to complement your healing journey from deep tissue massage to lymphatic drainage pain management and more we've got your well-being covered if you're ready to take control of your health and experience the proven methods that have helped countless members of our community give us a call at the katie shack 870-873-4300 schedule a consultation with dr wiley today and start your journey towards a healthier happier you your well-being is our priority at the Katie Shack. Welcome back to Mosley Stadium in Stuttgart on fourth down and five from the 38-yard line of the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. Kane Price rolls to his left, looks, fires. He's got his man complete, and that's going to move the sticks. First down and 10 for the Rice Birds down at the 26-yard line of the Lone Oak Jackrabbits. A minute four to go in the fourth quarter. Stuttgart with a 45-34 to 34 lead and the ball. Two wide outs to the right. Single back standing to the left of Price. He takes hands off to him using his blockers into the secondary and into the. Oh, he's oh, going to be inside the, the five-yard line down to the two, I believe, is where they're going to mark yeah. him. Juwan Terry just drug down just inside the, the three there. It's going to be another 22 yards for Terry. 45 seconds, clock moving, fourth quarter. Rice Birds come to the line. Well, the Rice Birds, Rice Birds might need that thir 13 points tiebreaker. They could very possibly, and of course they may also remember last night. That well, I, <laughs> I had that in the back of my mind too, there, partner. Wide outs on each side, and Kane is going to let the play clock go all the way down. Birds are going to snap it probably just one more time. Five, four, three, two. And he is going to take a knee. And the Rice Birds are better sportsmen than the Lone Oak Jackrabbits yes, are. Yes, they are. As they take a knee from the three-yard line, Lone Oak scored a touchdown with 50 seconds to go in the game well decided last night in junior high. Here go the fireworks as the Rice Birds pick up a big win. Ray Gilbert, our pyrotechnic specialist down in the end zone, gets the fireworks flying. And it's been a great night. Full moon here over Ned Mosley Stadium and the Stuttgart Rice Birds win it.
by a final score of 45 to 34. Want to remind everyone, stick around. Don't turn the TV off just yet if you're watching on the live stream as we are going to keep it right here as the Stuttgart Ricebird Marching Band is going to perform their halftime show here at the conclusion of this game. They were unable to at halftime because of the senior recognition, which, of course, is very important. And as the two teams meet at the center of the field and shake hands, the Ricebird Band is playing the Ricebird alma mater, and we're going to take a two-minute timeout on the Blue Seal Petroleum post-game show. When we come back, we've got some bonus coverage of the Ricebird Marching Band. We're back in two minutes. You're listening to Ricebird Football on Country 97.3 FM, part of the EAB Sports Network. At Southern Bank Corp., we are wealth builders for everyone. We see building wealth as helping people succeed in creating strong financial futures. For some, it's having tools to build credit and buy a first home. For others, working with our award-winning SBA team to launch or grow a small business. And still others might use our unique savings plan today to save for tomorrow's dreams. Wherever you are in your wealth building journey, Southern Bank Corp. can help. Stop by or visit BankSouthern.com to get started. Southern Bank Corp. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Score big with the fastest internet in town from Right Fiber. Our new 5 gig internet is a game changer. Stream, play, and work online with no penalty flags for buffering, lagging, or slow connection. Right Fiber is your internet MVP, keeping all your devices connected all the time. Get championship level connection for your home with 5 gig internet. Because when it comes to online speed at Right Fiber, we play to win. Blue Seal Petroleum in DeWitt and Stuttgart has got your back with service trucks from both locations on standby. To come to you in the field, at the mill, or on the road. For service, call Blue Seal Petroleum in DeWitt at 870-946-2281 or in Stuttgart at 870-673-3126. They're the truck tire repair near you, wherever your location. Hopefully it never happens, but if it does and you need a service truck, call Blue Seal Petroleum on South Whitehead Drive in DeWitt at 870-946-2281 or on South Park Avenue in Stuttgart at 870 870- 673-3126. Quarterback, guard, running back, every position has a role in building success. If you want a position where you can build success in your own career, Lexicon is hiring welders, millwrights, and many more positions. We offer free on-the-job training through our own Lexicon University so you can learn while you earn and build the career you want. Competitive pay, a great health care plan, paid vacation, a sweet 401k plan, and more. Find out more at lexicon-inc.com slash football. No appointment? No problem. If you need medical care right away, visit Urgent Care of Stuttgart, where you can walk in without an appointment and get help without a long wait for a wide variety of illnesses and injuries, from stitches and broken bones to allergies and colds. Urgent Care of Stuttgart is conveniently located at 22nd and Park Avenue. Clinic hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more, visit facebook.com forward slash Urgent Care Stuttgart or call 870-672-0911. Urgent Care of Stuttgart at 22nd and Park Avenue. Get sick, get seen today. Discover the world of sewing and crafting at the French Seam at 2015 South Berkeley in Stuttgart. This fall, they're offering a fantastic lineup of sewing classes. Learn to create a nativity bench pillow. Take part in a one-day harvest table Kimberbell event and dive into the Deck the Palms Kimberbell Spark event. There's something for everyone, from quilts and table toppers to rope projects and free motion quilting. To learn more about these exciting classes, visit the French Seam or call 870-673-8156. And don't miss out on this opportunity to enhance your sewing skills today. Pearson Company in Stuttgart has been bringing you the best in pre-engineered steel buildings for many years. Offering the very latest in design engineering, your steel building is engineered and tailored to your exact specifications with the minimum amount of wasted space. Pearson Company specializes in complete turnkey projects. Pearson Company offers complete construction services from beginning to end. For your pre-engineered steel building needs, look to Pearson Company, 209 North Berkeley in Stuttgart, where quality and construction go hand in hand. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking in savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. 
wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. Simmons Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Driven by our mission to deliver power you can count on, the electric cooperatives of Arkansas go to work every single day on the X's and O's of delivering reliable and affordable electricity to our home field, Arkansas. With over 2,000 employees on our team, our game plan begins and ends with their dedication across our 17 electric distribution cooperatives that cover more than 60% of Arkansas. They are our most valuable players. The electric cooperatives of Arkansas, the power to deliver, the drive to win. This is Kelsey Konechny. Open enrollment for individual health insurance begins November the 1st. Do you have the best coverage option for you and your family? Let your local hometown agents at Konechny Insurance work for you. We can price your coverage with major carriers in Arkansas and the marketplace. Get the personal attention you deserve at Konechny Insurance. Call us at 870-673-9249. Konechny Insurance, 102 West 7th Street, Stuttgart. With power and versatility, the Kubota M7 tractor is built for hay and forge work. Up to 168 horsepower, superior loader lift capacity, easy to use control, all day comfort. And your choice of a 30 by 15 semi power shift or Kubota variable transmission. And rated number one in durability and owner experience. Talk to your hometown Kubota dealer today to schedule a demo. Go to KubotaUSA.com for full disclaimer. River Valley Tractor. Great products at great prices from great people. With eight locations, they're right in your backyard. Visit RiverValleyTractor.com or go to KubotaUSA.com. Say.com for more information. The vehicle you'd buy if money was no object? Cadillac Escalade. With cash in hand, you'd still wait months to buy an Escalade and probably pay thousands over sticker price. Don't wait to buy your dream car because you can win one tomorrow from Saracen Casino and or Cadillac. Yes, win a luxurious Cadillac Escalade tomorrow night at Saracen Casino. Saracen is Little Rock's closest place to play. Saracen Casino Resort. Vegas, Arkansas style. Family problem? Call 800-522-4700. And we welcome you to the Blue Seal Petroleum post-game show with some bonus Rice Bird coverage here tonight as the Stuttgart Rice Bird Marching Band is set to, to uh, present their what they hope will be state-winning performance here tonight. So set back and enjoy on our EAB Sports Network Stuttgart Rice Bird YouTube channel and on Country 97.3 FM the Stuttgart Rice Bird Marching Band.
listening to the Stuttgart Ricebird Marching Band performing here their post game show on the Blue Seal Petroleum post game. You can tell that some of these racers are really finding their to the Stuttgart Ricebird Marching Band's performance here in the post-game show. Let's see if we're gonna have 
the traditional fight song, or is that going to end it? I believe that is going to conclude the Stuttgart Riceburg Marching Band's performance here. Special bonus coverage in the Blue Seal Petroleum post game show. I'm Lynn Keller sitting alongside Brent Whitman. We're glad to have you join us tonight for Riceburg football. It was a good one. The Stuttgart Ricebirds come out with a 45 to 34 win over the Lone Oak Jackrabbit.